Hello! <laughs> Welcome to High Rollers Dungeons and Dragons. This is the DD show here on the Yogscast Twitch, also on High Rollers DD. Why are you laughing? It was Rhiannon's noise that she made right before. before it yeah. still got me. It was oh, like no. a half a Murloc sound. I know. I'm just judging. <laughs> Welcome to this Dungeons and Dragons campaign. I am your dungeon master, Mark Sherlock Humes, and joining me for our adventures this week, we have a full team. We have Rhiannon. Hello. We have Chris, also known as Trot. We have Kim. Hello. Sporting new fabulous hair. Oh, Tom Hazel and his mustard jumper. What the hell? <laughs> it's good. And it's Katie's good back jumper. from Scotland. Yeah. From Scotland. Scotland. Oh, yeah, and it freaking rained the whole time. Hey. And hey. Bristol is colder than <laughs> Scotland. Bristol is colder than Scotland was. Who knew? Not We've got quite a lot of things to go through, so I'm not going to spend too much time, but welcome, friends, uh, to this lovely episode of High Rollers. First things first. I'm a realist. This is the last episode of the year sponsored. Mm -hmm. By D and D Beyond. Big thank you to D and D Beyond. Yeah. They sponsored this for Yay. six months. Big thank you, big thank round you of applause so for sure. Yeah. Um, they've been an amazing sponsor. Yeah. Pretty sure they'll be back next year, but this is the last one of, of 2018. So thank you very much. D and D Beyond is the official Dungeons and Dragons digital tool set. It features a compendium, character builder, adventures, and much more, including now Twitch integration. Which, if you're watching on High Rollers D and D, you can check. You can hover over yeah. and look at all of our stats in real time. Mm -hmm. um, they are the most up-to-date stats. So if you see them down below me, the D and D Beyond versions are correct and up-to-date. Uh, thank you very much, D and D Beyond team. Check it out. You've now just released uh, Dungeons of the Mad Mage. Guildmasters going to Ravnica are all available on D&D Beyond as well. Yeah. Thank you very much for your sponsorship. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, thanks. Guys. The next big thing to talk about is the Yogscast Jingle Jam. Yeah. Woo! Starting next week is the Yogscast Jingle Jam. If you don't know what that is, it is a month-long streaming event uh, that it? goes on on the Yogscast channel. Wow. It, uh, last year they raised over $5 million. Yeah. Uh, and we're hoping to beat that this year. Um, for High Rollers, we will be streaming every Sunday in our usual slot, so 5 till 8 p.m. Um, so the 2nd of December, we will be doing High Rollers, the Eroes Christmas Special, which will be our only Dungeons & Dragons session of the whole time. The rest of the time, we're going to play some other RPGs, we're going to play some board games, etc. Very, very excited, because for the 2nd of December, mm -hmm. we'll be joined by a very special guest, joining us from across the sea... Mr. Matthew Mercer will be joining us. I'm very excited because I've not DM'd oh, Matt boy. in a long time. Boy, um, he's going to be joining us. Kim will not be here because she's going to be away for all of December. Um, have in a lovely Malaysia, time in Malaysia. Um, have a lovely time. But so Matt will be taking up the space that think, Kim currently occupies. I think he's a worthy replacement. I think so. Yes, yeah, I definitely. think he, he might be able to play to my standard. Yes. yes. <laughs> <laughs> Um, it will be a non-canonical special, but it will be set in a row, so it'll be a great time for people to get to know the campaign and get to know the characters. It'll also be on a screen, he won't be flying over. No, he's, yeah. I, that's, yeah, I'm, uh, by from across the sea, I kind of meant to imply that he'd be digitally here, not physically here. But he'd be playing anyway. But he'll be playing. Um, it'll, be, it'll be fun, and it'll be yeah. exciting, and you should come and watch it. Through the powers of technology, he and will be with us. give lots of money to charity, because the Jingle Jam is really great. Um, it raises loads of money for loads of different charities, and you get a cool bundle of amazing games with it as well. There'll be more information about that soon, though. Um, like I said, the rest of December, we'll be playing RPGs, we'll be playing board games. There's talk of some Honey Heist. There's some talk of Jason Statham's Vacation, <laughs> my favourite one-shot RPG, um, and much, much more. Yeah. Next thing to talk about, brand new merch and the Black Friday sale. Mm -hmm. Merch, um, merch, merch. Merch, merch, merch. So, over on store.yogscast.com, we are currently running a huge Black Friday sale across much of the Yogscast. Um, the main thing for us is there's two major things. One, we have a series of bundles um, where you can get a bunch of stuff all bundled together um, that you're going to save some money on. But the main thing is we've also just launched our brand new super luxury gemstone dice. Yes. Ooh. You can't really see them. Kim's holding them up. Check they out Twitter beautiful. for more detailed pictures. They're very, very beautiful. They have custom HR logos. They are made from opalite and blue sandstone. Ooh. And they will be coming in a wooden display box. Nice. Ooh. Oh. 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 Give me one. <laughs> I want one, please. Drop it into my hand. Not to scale. Yeah. <laughs> uh, they come in a wooden display case, uh, which we will hopefully have pictures of next week. Um, very, very, very cool. These are super premium item. Great gift for somebody who loves collecting dice or loves playing D&D. These are very awesome. Mm -hmm. If you get them in the bundle, there's a bundle called the Gemstone Guardian, which gets you the new gemstone dice, posters, calendar, and other items. But if that's a bit too much, you can always get the Starting Adventurer bundle, which has our plastic dice, which Katie's got there in a little bag, um, along with the same posters, calendar, etc. You can also 
Use the code High Rollers at checkout to get 10% off everything. Our bundles, other people's merch, <coughs> 10% off everything. Shut up, Kim. Uh, <laughs> we also have these posters, which we had for MCM. These have been signed, we've signed them. Um, they're also available for sale. You can pick those up. I believe they come in the bundle. Yeah. Check those out. Uh, the calendar is new. It's got f artists from freelancers. It looks amazing. And Nina. Uh, all sorts of really amazing stuff. Check it out. Use the code High Rollers to get 10% off anything in the Yorg's Car store. It saves a ton of money. Check it out. Perfect for Christmas. Those deals, the bundles end Cyber Monday. So end of Monday. Tomorrow, right? Tomorrow. So yeah. end of tomorrow, those bundles won't be sold again. So get them yeah. now. Um, and also, I know Kim's got Flux Buddies shirts out, there's new Hat Films merch. I also have a new shirt out, my Dungeon Masters University shirt, which has just come out on Friday. Check that out if you fancy. Um, and there you go. Last thing to mention, don't forget if you've got Amazon Prime, if you head on over to the High Rollers D&D channel, if you're not using your Prime subscription for anything, please do consider giving it to us. It supports us, you get That's loads of cool emotes. I was trying to think of. I yeah. said it when you were talking to me earlier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Amazon Prime, if you're not using it, it supports us, you get cool emotes, it's amazing. Is there anything else I've forgotten? Your pants. Team. In that case, <laughs> let's roll. I'm not wearing refuse, them now, so to acknowledge. is it that I've forgotten them, or have I simply not chosen to wear any? Let's run the Eurois video. Disturbing. You do you. To Eroes on the High Rollers uh, Dungeons and Dragons campaign. A little recap of what happened last time, shall we? Yes, please. Please. The party have uncovered something sinister beneath Rosewater Lake. On their journey to the city of Goldthrone, the party stopped to assist in the search for a missing girl. Having learned that something was amiss with three young women working in the local general store, several members of the party and the Beast Walker Bunny Lady, Santa Long Ears, discovered a tunnel that leads into a crashed starship buried beneath the lake. After engaging several guards in a desperate battle and chase throughout the ship's crystalline hallways, the party has arrived at a large chamber where a magical bow seemed to be contained in some sort of device that speaks to them in their mind. <laughs> Meanwhile, Ayla, the wild elf barbarian, offered to watch over the young girl Valor, who bears a striking resemblance to the girls being kidnapped and was the target of an attempted kidnapping before. Having not heard from the rest of the party, Ayla, jump in straight with you. Oh, okay. Um, <laughs> you know that the, the rest of the group went off to the Acorn and Bale, the name of the general store in town, to investigate these three girls that Quill had discovered had um, necklaces bearing the symbol of Kalos Starbane, this kind of uh, this mythological or legendary tyrant that tried to take over Erois. Um, he also discovered that there was some sort of magical ward in the back room of the store itself. So the party, along with Sanna, the bounty hunter, went off to investigate. Um, not wanting to leave Valor alone because of previous kidnapping attempts, uh, yourself, Arvel Dagus, the dwarven merchant, and Galen Sands, who is the, uh, the father of the missing girl that, who hired Sanna, uh, all remain behind in the lodge, uh, which kind of overlooks the lake and is part of this town called Ironwick. It's late evening uh, when the party left, probably about 9.30, 9 o'clock, 10, 10 o'clock. Um, and it's probably about 20 minutes or so. No, I'd say longer than that. It's probably about 45 minutes when you begin to hear uh, a crowd beginning to approach the lodge and kind of gathering outside. Um, and you can see that a few of them are carrying torches or lanterns. Um, and you can see leading this is a dwarven woman with gray hair um, spectacles. Uh, she appears to be wearing like a leather jerkin, like a leather armor, um, and she has uh, 
a kind of almost like a cane almost uh, in her hand. No, sorry, a short sword sheathed at her side. Um, alongside her is a blacksmith and three just villagers. They look like, you know, farmers or kind of just locals. Um, and they kind of, you, you see them kind of approaching the building and you can see that they're, they're coming up to the lodge itself. Uh, Valor is probably kind of like, not asleep, but relaxing on a chair nearby. Arvel has kind of got his crossbow loaded and has kind of also sat down. Um, and Galen is uh, probably uh, nearby. He's probably near the back or like looking, reading. He's probably reading a book. Um, yeah. And you see these people beginning to approach. You have not heard from the rest of the party. You do not know why they've not come back. You don't know what's going on at this point. Have we interacted with this dwarven woman before? Yes. Yeah, you have. recognize her as uh, Missy Steel Eye. So She's the, the, the field, field warden. warden. Yes. Yeah. She's cool. the law. She's the sheriff. She's the law. Okay. Um, in which case, I think I will... Yeah, they're going to come up and knock on the door if you don't... Uh, I'll just go up and open the door. So you just... Because you, you see them in the windows. You can see yeah. them passing. They clock you. Um, and you have this moment where they walk up to the door and wait for you to open it and uh, open it up. Uh, the woman kind of peers at you for a moment um, and then kind of adjusts her spectacles. Good evening. I was wondering if you and the rest of your crew are around. Something's been happening in the town. We just want to check in on everybody about, see if anything, no, anybody knows anything of what's going on. No, just been in here, sleeping. Okay. After we went to the store. Looked at some weapons, came back, didn't buy anything. And buy. the rest of your troop are all here? Yeah. Deception check. <laughs> <laughs> uh oh. Mm. That is a 13. 13. She kind of looks at you for a moment, and you can see she kind of adjusts her eyes, and she glances over at the window. There's an awful lot of you in such a small place. Uh, kind of gestures towards the window where Valor is just kind of looking out of it on her by herself, just kind of looking at the gathered crowd. Are you sure? Uh, I'd like to speak to Santa in particular, if she's around. Uh, it seems a few of the folk around here certainly don't seem to uh, believe me when I say that she's unlikely to have anything involved. And you can see the blacksmith is kind of like folded his arms and is looking particularly aggressive. Um, and she kind of calls out, is she there? Um, no, she's popped out at the moment. She's actually not with our group, though. I don't actually know her very well. I see. That's unfortunate. But I am sure that there are things going on in this town that yes. don't involve the people that you think. Maybe. You said you were at the store earlier? Uh, yeah, briefly. You, how long ago roughly was that? How long ago roughly was that? Um, <laughs> probably around two, three hours ago. I'll relay that to her. And uh, did everything seem fine? Who Except did you, the, who was there? Well, there's little girls there. The three girls? I think there was only two when I was there. I see. And the owner, Bodwin, was he around? No, actually. Hmm. Interesting. In case you don't know, the girls have gone missing. And Bodwin woke up in his cellar uh, unconscious, uh, not remembering how he got down there. And there seems to be a break-in. Somebody broke down the door, uh, opened up one of the windows at the back. Is this your doing? <laughs> yes, it We're is. We're not there. But you don't okay. know that. <laughs> Ella doesn't even know. She doesn't know that. Um, whilst this conversation's going on, can you make a perception check for me? I don't remember. Oh, that was bad. <laughs> what me? Oh. Nine. Nine. What Nine. are you talking about? Okay. <laughs> so, as you're having this conversation, there's probably maybe, you barely reckon, you barely, don't pay much attention to it. There's like a cold breeze in the air, like a cold wind kind of blows through outside of the lodge across the lake. And it kind of has that rushing wind sound, that kind of, and you can see a few of them kind of bundle up a little bit closer. Um, there are three villagers kind of behind uh, Missy mm -hmm. and the blacksmith. Um, and you see kind of catch out the corner of your eye. One of them suddenly kind of lurches forward. And a big red stain begins spreading across the front of their shirt. As they kind of hold their hands covered in blood as they slump forward. And stood behind them are two 
shadowy looking figures. They look like young girls, maybe about 14 years old, long dark hair, basic looking clothes, but there is something off. Their forms almost seem shadowy, kind of semi-see-through. Their weapons leak this kind of black mist as they hold these kind of blades and they just point up to the window where Valor is now gone sheet white. And they look incredible, they look almost, not identical, but they look very similar to her. Very similar age, similar kind of hair, similar eyes, and they just point up to her. They look you very see, similar to her, so they're they not like sim- the girls that we've come, not the shop girls at all. Not like the shop girls, no. No, no these look like Valor, but di- obviously different girls, but very similar looking. Um, the villagers start to panic. They see their friend just slumps forward dead um, as he just kind of it just clutches this wound, and you just hear them like, and at that point, we're going to roll some initiative. For the rest of you, mm. <laughs> Hello. I would like right. you guys to take over some NPCs for me so that mm. I'm not running a million NPCs and you have something to do. So, I've got four here. Uh, we have Arvel, Valor, and Missy Steeleye, and Galen, um, the father. So, who would like to take what? You can decide amongst yourselves. Oh, could I be Arvel? Sure. Bam, you're Arvel now. So Arvel Galen, is... Galen, Bala, and Missy. Yeah. Shooting time. So Bala? somebody who's got spells... Yeah. Uh, Angelate. Yep, sure. There you go. So <laughs> don't, you don't necessarily have to do the full RP. I can take care of that, but just... I'm to doing run. the RP. You can do... <laughs> sure, you can do Arvel. That was the whole Fire reason she wanted... Angelate. Arvel. Yeah, I know, I know it is. I'm um, a dwarf. <laughs> it's uncanny. So Arvel's there. The door. You're at the door. These two shoes are kind of like that, and then you can see these other two there. Okay, um, so initiative, please. Let's get some initiative rolling. Ayla. Ten. Ten. Uh, Valor. I'm guessing if there's not a stat. So there's no there's stat no initiative, just use the dex modifier, yes. Use the dex. Dex you modifier. So, uh, <coughs> yours is plus three. That's very cool. Well, Arvel's dead last. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> Arvel. Uh, hold on. His dex monitor is 14, so that's plus, plus two. two. Plus two. Uh, three! <laughs> <laughs> you You're in safe Valor? hands, Arvel. 14 for Valor. Uh, who's playing Galen? I am. Uh, I got 17. 17. Who's playing Missy? Trot? Eight. Eight. <laughs> and then I will roll for the Shadow Maidens. The Shadow knows. <laughs> you get that reference. You're a winner. Hmm? I'm trying to remember what that is. I wasn't is. listening to you. The Shadow Knows. I'm trying to remember what that's from. It's an old film. I'm sure I know. <laughs> is that the Alec Baldwin Shadow? I fucking love that movie. It's such Great a good movie. movie. Great CG. Yeah. Uh, right. Oh. <laughs> so, uh, so really? Galen, um, Galen, yeah. Tom, Quill, yeah, yeah. Uh, you, so playing as Galen, um, he, he sees them, and I'll do some of the RP. When he sees these figures, you, there's this moment where Galen kind of is like, and then he kind of realizes it's not his daughter and that these these girls they yeah like the shadows kind of cling to them and sort of drip off them okay as if they become infused with shadow itself um he sees them what what would Galen like to do at this point? i mean i guess he's going to spend his bonus action just like who's that yeah, it's not it's, it takes some time like um, it, it takes a moment to recognize what is going on but i think he will then I guess he would then go to Vala, mm-hmm. who is the next best thing to him. Looks, looks like. closest to her. Yeah, looks like very much like her. Uh, yeah. So he'll go up to her and try and protect her. And okay. he's got he's got a couple of spells actually. So shield. How does that work? That's a reaction. So shield is a reaction. Yeah. Yes. So you can if you get hit, um, you can use shield to increase your AC by five until the start of your next turn. Um, I think he would. I guess it's also. Is it? It's not dark in here, is it? It's yeah. There's like a firelight and there's some um, lanterns, but it's it's still dim and shadowy. It's not bright light. Okay, I guess in the area where we are, I would cast light okay. as a cantrip. Yeah, so and he has like a staff. It's more of like a cane actually. It's like a walking rod. Okay. Um, and then he'll cast light onto the top of that. Bam. So you cast light. Okay. Um, the two figures in front of you, they just, I mean, they just basically step up and almost like these people are obstructions. They don't really, they just coldly just stab their blades into them. They, you know, fall to their sides, um, very similar. They just kind of throw themselves to the side and just fall down. Um, but yeah, and then the girls just keep walking forwards, um, very coldly. Uh, they probably get up to there. 
Um, and it looks like the, they're basically just going to try and go straight to Valor. They're, they're just, they've seen her in the window, and now they're just kind of almost drifting along the floor. And you can see that their weapons are real, but are kind of cloaked with this shadowy black ink um, as it slides through. Like Noob, Cybot, and more combat. Uh, yeah. 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 <laughs> Arvel, you oh. hear... Um, Turning around, you hear this kind of whispering shadows oh, as two dude. more appear at the back door just behind you. This kind of lodges back door. It's at the door, but not in the house. And they're not in, but they're like at the door, and you can see them like basically they've opened the door as their action. They just like and they pull it open. Can I shout? Sure. Yeah, yeah you just shout that they're coming. Yeah, everyone sees them. Yeah. So um, I'll let everyone know that they're behind us. What does Arvel shout? What in tarnation? <laughs> they're behind <laughs> us. I knew you'd enjoy that. <laughs> uh, Valor, so Rhiannon. Hello. Uh, okay. Hey, what abilities does she have? Yeah. Yeah, tell us. Tell does us. it have a yeah. backstory? <laughs> it doesn't have a life story, but there's some in interesting abilities there. Okay. Yeah. Interesting. Uh, Simulacrum. Hmm. No, it's not. <laughs> so Valor sees this coming, and there's, there's this shocking resemblance of, yeah, different, but they, they very much look like her. Um, I want to. I want to try and stop these people from coming in. Mm -hmm. So, um, can I maybe use like mage hand and try and like move the table up to the door and like try and shore it? So the the mage hand it. doesn't have enough strength to move okay. the table. So mage hand can only pick up um, small handheld items. Okay. It can't like shove anything. Okay. Cool. But Valor herself could could try. Yeah. Yeah. So you're gonna try and like drag what this uh, yeah. table that she's kind of been clutched on. Yeah. So you kind of start dragging this over. Yeah. Yeah, okay. So you drag this behind Ayla. You can see Ayla, like Valor, she's only a like, 14 year old kid, so she's not very strong, but she's like dragging this table um, towards the door itself. Um, yep, perfect. So move and then action, and then Ayla herself. So you see these things, <laughs> and they're, they're coming in this door, and they, they are showing no signs of stopping or giving mercy to anybody that's in the way. If you'd like to rage, please. <laughs> okay, yep. So you whack. hear the... I'm gonna whack him! We hear the thunderous crackle as lightning begins to, you know, arc up and down your body along the hammer. Um, I will also say to Missy and the blacksmith, mm -hmm. can really do with an extra pair of hands here. Gonna help us? Think you find out who your problem is? My goals. Hate everyone. What's Fifteen to hit. She's kind of got like a deep south, like very Louisiana kind of one of these voices. You know what I'm saying? One of these very Red Dead Redemption kind of voices. Fifteen, 15 to, to hit. hit easily. Yeah, you do feel that the hammer as it strikes, it kind of partially. Some of the shadow is kind of absorbing some of the blow. Ten damage. Plus, make a save, which I believe okay. my save has now gone up to a 13. 13, dex save. Yeah. Um, 17. Aww. So half. Oh, I ran rolled a six, so you take three. It takes Wait. three. Is that the first time the Zippy yeah. Dab's done more than one yeah. damage? Yeah! yeah. Yay. 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 Episode Yay. 17. Yeah. <laughs> so you watch, as the hammer kind of hits uh, the first girl in front of you, the shadow seems to absorb some of the blow and she kind of gets shunted back, but there's no reaction of pain, there's no emotion, just this poof kind of gets knocked back. And then the lightning blasts her in the chest. She avoids some of it, but the lightning hits her squarely. The shadow doesn't seem to absorb that. And I'm that. gonna push Valor behind that desk that she's trying to drag okay. and be like, get back! So, you sh so Valor gets shoved back behind oh. this desk next to uh, Galen. Trying to help. Uh, she's trying to I help. know. <laughs> It ain't looking no. much better back here, Missy. Yeah. <laughs> Missy Steel Eye. Where is she on this map? So she is the dwarf with the drum, because it's the only dwarf <laughs> in its right outside the dwarf front door. Yeah, she was at the front door talking to Ayla, and these things have come up, and you've seen them like murder the other villagers. The two other villagers do seem alive, but are bleeding out, basically. Oh. They're like clutching their stomachs. They don't look like they're going to be much use in a fight. The blacksmith guy has turned around. He's got like a hammer in his hand, but he's looking pretty scared. He's dead now. Your kind ain't welcome in our week. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna do an insightful fighting thing. Okay. Which is a bonus action to make an insight check against, uh, opposed by charisma. Okay, so you make an insight check, and I'm uh, guessing you're gonna target this one next to Ayla? Yes. Okay. <laughs> uh, is that cock? Yeah, sure. 
It, it was. It was 14. Uh, plus her insight, which I think is plus four. Uh, 18. 18. Uh, yeah, you, so you kind of read these creatures, and there's almost no d regard for you. It's not really protecting itself very well, apart from what it has to. So you can easily feint the creature, and yeah, you have advantage on the next attack roll. Couple of hucksters. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Couple of hucksters. I will short sword attack. 14 to hits. hit. Hits. Damn. And you will get sneak attack because you have advantage. And you had advantage, by the way, so you could have rolled to see if you got a creep. Nah. Nah. Well, uh, you gotta three, have faith. Plus two, Day five. Six. Plus a d6. Six. That's 11. 11. Like with a with Aeolus Hammer, part of the blow is kind of absorbed by whatever is this kind of shadowy, inky, substan insubstantialness to it. Um, and the blow kind of glances off, but you, you can see it reacts and then it's. This girl, and this, you're literally fighting 14 year old girls in this kind of shadowy form. It kind of turns its head to you and seems to regard you as a threat. I'll regard this group and be like, What have y'all brought to my town? <laughs> what? Wait, is your goal to be against us? Uh, your go, Galen. What does Galen sound like again? Uh, he just has a very normal American accent, but he's very kind of tired and very sad and. He's very tragic. Sorry, I'm so tired. I'm so sad. <laughs> Ch channel your inner Tom. It's quite yeah. tragic. <laughs> oh, it's just so depressing, you know? The people behind me. The ones uh, coming mm -hmm. through the door. Yes. Do they look like his daughter? They, they, they all have this similar thing. They're not... It's not like these are twins or anything like that. These okay. are all just 14 year old girls with the same kind of length, dark hair. But none of them same are like. Similar looking face. None of them okay. are. So far, he doesn't recognize any of them as Estella, his, his girl. Um, man, I just don't know if he would even want to attack these. Sure. You play him whatever you think. We'll make it into the canon. Uh, you kill us all, Tom. You kill us all. I, mean, I love it. I love how Tom is just like committed to the mm. RP above all else. Oh, yeah. Uh, what a so good I'm, boy. So I'm going to fireball Misty. No. <laughs> um, in that case, Misty. I will actually cast Sleep on however many I can. I don't know. Okay. Yeah. So well, you could if you target this group, you'd hit everybody around it. Please no. You could Please target this group and try and sleep these ones behind. Galen is intelligent. Yeah. So he's he's going to go for those two. Okay. At the back. Sure. So um, that's five d eight. You roll, um, and you have to be over the hit oh, points. It's like a pool of hit points that you that's put creatures three. to sleep with. Uh, Okay, so 12, 13, 16, uh, 24. 24. So, although these creatures seem to have like this undead form, one of them, probably the one at the back, does begin to drift. And you can see her eyes kind of close and the blade kind of falls out of her hand. Ooh. And then she just poof, slumps down to the ground. Um, so that's one of his spell slots gone. Bam, Galen. Would you like to move anywhere as Galen? Uh, could I... Hmm... I mean, I'm safe enough here, I think. Yeah, sure, uh, you can stay there. Stay right next to Vala. Okay. Oh, sorry, Arvel. Arvel Day. He's so slow, I almost forgot about him. I was <laughs> wondering when you were going to get to me, son. Go now. <laughs> uh, I would like to... Would it be a bonus action to flip that table? Like, so it just provides... For coolness? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> he just kicks it over like yeah. a dwarf, a little stout. <laughs> Get um, over there! Stands underneath Oosh. it and okay. jumps. <laughs> can I just move a little bit so that I'm like between Vala and yeah. it? And, so you yeah, can like do like that. that. So he kicks over this little table, gets Evangeline on it. And I'll go to fire. Okay. Somehow. Gotta love this fire. 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. Hits. To hit. Uh, three, four, five. Five damage. points of damage. And then do I do I have two attack? Because it says can fire twice before needing no, to reload. No, it means that, it so with crossbows, you have to spend a whole action reloading. So he gets one shot and then he has to like okay. reload. But he but can I, do it twice. I get another one and then I can And then you'd have to reload, Jess. So that's all I can do for now. Yep, that's your action. Um, so after Arvel. So then it would go to Galen. All right, now it's there go. Um, so this one will drift in and it will see Arvel as no. a bit of a threat. This one will... Um, I mean, it's not going to roll. So they're not race like they're just close. They're, yeah, they they look almost like they're not like the spectres you guys fought oh in the God. Rose Palace. They are real girls, but it's like they've been infused with some sort of shadow power or like some sort of necrotic energy. Have, can you see their faces? Yeah, you, yeah, you can see their faces. You can see their hair, but there's this eyes? shadowy. I'd say their eyes are completely black. Yeah. Like their eyes have gone completely black over. It's messed up. Um, so messed Ayla. Up. One's going to attack you, and then one's going to attack Missy. Missy? Missy. 
Mister, Mister, Mister. Okay, uh, so this is with advantage because they're still in shadows. So Ayla, that is going to be a twenty-one. Mm -hmm. No, sorry, twenty. It will hit. Three. Twenty something is going to hit. Uh, and then that was a only a ten to hit. Missy. Nope. does not okay. hit. So. Ayla. Now you're raging, mm -hmm. so you'll take half from, you'll take eight half to four, as the blade kind of, the, the shadowy knife pierces into you, but then you take two necrotic, which you don't half. And can you make a constitution saving throw for oh, me, please? Not this again. As you feel like, as the blade kind of hits your skin, you feel this burning liquid coating the blade. 18. Whatever this poison is, your the adrenaline is burning it off faster than it can take effect. You manage to kind of keep your, your system going um, as the poison doesn't quite take hold. Um, and then Arvel. The one attack on that, when it oh. walked into my light, did that any, any effect? Um, it, so it's the light is uh, radius, so it's bright light around you, I think, within 20 feet. Uh, yeah. Or something like that. Um, it seems that it would normally get some sort of advantage, like it seems to be more adept in darkness, but the light is preventing it from being able to use its shadowy form to hide its movements. Okay, so that one, I have seen some sort of effect from uh, it. Yes, and in fact, the one attacking Arvel, um, it's, you can see that without with this bright light coming from Galen's staff, like it can't quite blur its movements, and you manage to just deflect it, roll like a eight to hit or something like that. Do I get so, cover as well? Like, you it would, it's kind around? of moved round the cover, yeah. Um, but it kind of had to move it uh, sideways a little bit. Um, Valor. Cool. Uh, I want to magic missile this one. So you turn around. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So 3d4 plus 3. 3d4. Do you have enough d4s? Oh, yeah, I do. I have 3d4s. You have 3? Perfect. So 3d4 plus 3. Cool. Um, and you don't need, need to roll to hit. Okay. Magic missile. Best thing about it, mm. you just do damage. Uh, so nice. 1, 3, and 2. No. So that's... Uh, Six, Six plus, plus three, three nine. Nine. And that's against this one, this yes? This one, yeah, please. Okay. So you can see the magic missile as the energy, this purple energy that Valor kind of summons from her hands. You watch as her eyes pulse for a second and then boo, 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 these three energy blasts come out. Each one that hits, hits with full force. It's not resisting this like it is the weapon damage. Just do, 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 knocks it back and you can see it's now, you know, staggered and is, is slowed down somewhat. Nice. Um, Ayla. You are still raging. Um, uh, I'm going to hit, I'm also going to shout, I don't think these girls need to be killed. I don't know if we can bring them back somehow. These are someone's daughters too. Galen, can you help? And I'll hit so one again, though. I'm sad. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah, that's going to yeah. easily hit. Yep. <laughs> so, Is this what you think emo goths are like? <laughs> Just tired and sad all the Eleven time. Eleven, <laughs> make us. Eleven, yeah. I've failed to save. <laughs> what is my life? Three. Okay, so the one that you've been fighting, this one here, um, as you hit it, are you now are you trying to. Can I try move? and knock it out? Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. So the lightning kind of blasts her first, and then the hammer connects in, and you kind of just. You, you purposely hold back on some of the blow. Um, you do knock it unconscious. But as soon as her body kind of hits the floor, um, the blackness begins pooling off of her and it kind of seeps into the shadows of the ground and the earth. It flies up into the night sky and her skin suddenly turns deathly pale um, and you can see that her body just becomes lifeless. So she's dead already? It seems to be. Okay. Never mind, Galen. Nope, it's fine. Seems to be. Is that what you are? <laughs> dead. Dead inside. Yeah. Tired. Dogma, like um, wow. <laughs> <laughs> this is my last resort. Missy. Suffocation. Uh, I'm going to spin around. There's going to be an anime glint on my glasses. I'm going to insight. <laughs> sure. <laughs> this one. So, insight check. Yeah. Does that pour from the beard? 13. It does, yeah. <laughs> That's the only mini I had, okay? Uh, how much? 13. 13, enough, yeah. You, again, you read this thing's movements. It looks like this one's going to kind of try and dodge to the side. You get advantage on the attack roll. What evil sorcery is this? <clears throat> 13 plus Hits. four. Hits. D6, I get sneak attack steal? Yes. Yeah. Three, six, eight. So four, the resistance. So again, the, the short sword kind of pierces in, but doesn't take hold. And this one, the girl kind of is like, give the girl. You just hear this kind of whispered. In here, y'all. 
But I Speak want you out of my town. <laughs> Arvold Dangus. Well, well, well. Um, is this thing, can I move backwards without an attack of opportunity or is it in my... No! And what a great opportunity for me to announce that I've been doing disengage wrong for the last <laughs> three years. So no, it's <laughs> next to you. Okay, so if you wanted to move away without an opportunity attack, you would spend an action to disengage and then for the rest of your turn, any movement doesn't provoke opportunity attacks. You don't automatically get to move like I thought you did. Um, <laughs> Yep, been doing that wrong for three years. I'm pretty sure we did it right in Rogue's... And, no! Uh, Uncharted Territory? <laughs> we did not do it right no. in Rogue's Gambit. We've three years, I don't Kate. know, maybe in three years. Little, yeah. Maybe, <laughs> maybe we'll I seem to remember that once. we did this for Fia and discovered it a while maybe, back. I think maybe, yeah. But yes. Um, well, can I still being in its range? Can I just make... I just want to make sure I'm between yeah, um, yeah. her you and Yeah, you can keep like so that. So I don't want to, yep. yeah, provoke. Yep. Um, and then... Can now, I if you try and use the crossbow, you're at disadvantage with it next to you. But he does, he's got his little axe, if you wanted to pull that out. What would our one do? Is this one still at the... Normal yes, date? this one is, Could, this one is still outside, up. outside though. It is outside. So Arvel can shoot. Not in line of sight of that one. That would be a tricky sight. shot. He can yeah, do it, but you have This one's too. more of a present threat to Valor, mm -hmm. yeah, so yeah, I'm yeah. gonna save my girl. Uh, He's just gonna end up Ayla and Arvel backed up with Valor in the middle, like, no, no, no! Like no, a no, sandwich. No, 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 no. A little sandwich. What are you gonna do? Drop the crossbow? Uh, I'm axe. gonna get out Daphne, who's my ex. <laughs> I, have to make, I have to make a axe. note now. <laughs> what was that called? Daphne. 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 Definitely Daphne. <laughs> That's now cannon. Seven to hit. Seven to hit. No, this time, like, you swing the axe, but this thing, it brings its kind of short sword in with this rapid movement to the side. Damn it, Daphne! <laughs> you are always the difficult one. Galen. <laughs> Nothing like a pendulum. Can you just do me a favour and in Arvel's voice just say Daphne? Daphne. Say that. Daphne. Say Daphne. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you saying Daphne? Daphne. 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 Okay. You got a problem, child. <laughs> no. <laughs> um, what's Galen do? I mean, I don't really know. He's just so sad. <laughs> sure, he can spend a turn being sad. Lies on the floor, empathy. cries a little bit. I mean, could... this one is getting quite close. Like Arvel is the only thing between it and, and Valor now. Can you move light? Uh, you could cast it again. It's a cantrip. But would it diminish the first yes. light? Damn it! Um, and I can't just shield on Arvel. No, nope. because reaction. it's reaction on you. And I can't put sleep out there because that'll get everybody. Um, I think the only thing he's got is either his club or a fireball. What's this place made of? Wood. Yeah, but if you hit the first... Yeah, as long as you don't miss. Yeah. I mean... <laughs> <laughs> or you could sleep as all. I could sleep everyone. Well, just get that. Can't get you, that you like, do that. Can't you, like, Club it. it. Get him yeah. with the club. club. I mean, I guess I saw club what, what Ayla did, and I'll do that in an okay. attempt to knock her out, just rod. Kunk. Yeah, so you kind of, <laughs> like... Swing it over the the table that Arvel kicked over earlier. Yeah. So Galen um, moves up towards the one um, next to Arvel. Thirteen. Actually hits. Hey. Just. So whilst it's deflecting Arvel's axe, you kind of rush up and just swing this club into its head. And do four damage. And that is oh, just not enough. Oh. But does it make a loud, audible gonk? It does. It's like. <laughs> It, wow. Actually, no, it would have been halved as well. It's so. such a satisfying noise that Galen um, is no longer sad. Not sad. <laughs> <laughs> Everything so is fine. It hits, but then the creature just kind of knocks its head and then it kind of snaps back up. Oh. Um, and in fact, oh, sad again. it will attack you. Why not? Oh. Can you just attack it? Oh, come on. Uh, so that is going to be a 19 to hit Galen. Ooh. Yeah, I think I'll do it. Yep. AC 10. Mm. Yep. Mm. So not even she shield's going to help Ooh, you Oh, hit there. points, nine. Not good. Oh wait, I can reaction the shield, can't I? You yep. could, but it would only boost your AC to 15. Oh. So wasted. Whatever. Uh, so... That would be seven piercing damage, followed by three oh. necrotic damage. Oh. So they've... I'm down, yeah, oh, I'm gone. Wow. So you watch as this thing just turns and just slashes Galen's throat with this shadowy <gasps> blade. Can you make what? a constitution saving throw for Galen as well, please? Uh, nine. Okay, yeah. Plus his constitution. You just nine. watch this kind of black vein like substance begin to protrude through his veins. Uh, Guess what? Does Ain't he nobody a, a healer. Check? Here. Um, sure. Yeah. Nine again. 
Yep, that's a fail. <laughs> pass, me, pass me that, him. Injury. Sure. He's an NPC, so this, this is a persistent NPC. So yeah, roll a d20 for me, please, Tom. What? <laughs> cool. <laughs> oh my god. Got no head. I'll just leave that. So you watch as this deep gash kind of tears through most of his You uh, just neck. killed Galen! <laughs> 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 yep. Dead. He's dead! Yep. What? I'm gonna roll it, because he's not a player. I'm, it, this would normally be what I call a grievous injury, which is a significant injury. He has nine Like losing points. an eye or something wow. like that. As he's an NPC and is so low level, it just kills him. He's dead now. <laughs> this poor fa this father, who all, all he wanted was to get his daughter back, is dead now. Cut my life Thanks, Tom into Hazel. pieces. <laughs> oh. That's that one's go. This Holy one. Crap. Wow. Can I have a character sheet? <laughs> Do you want to hand that in? Yeah, hit my character, character oh, sure, sheet. Great. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Uh, so, Missy, a 10 to hit you, although Jesus it is more Christ. shadowy. Now, oh, Galen's light disappears. Uh, that's an 11 to hit Missy. Uh, <laughs> no. Miss failed, so you kind of block it with your own short sword as this thing comes up. You played D&D wrong, Tom. <laughs> the fun is wrong. Oh, yeah. This one Oh, up. no! Oh, at least you're like, you know, the ultimate goth now. Wait. Yeah, that's true. Is he going to come back? Valor. How? He's dead. You watch cool. this poor man. <laughs> you just turn around as you see the throat get ripped out. Yeah. And then this thing, like, looks directly towards oh, you. Oh, no. I'm going to be, like, really scared. Oh, no. Um, you got it! Uh, you got this! Roll time uh, on the damage. If you I'm kill Valor, you. that's even worse. Yeah. I'm going to try not to. There's not pressure. Sure. Okay. Yeah. Mm. Um, can I move Valor like here? So you move past the dead body. But yes. Get, get that out of my way in the corner, please. Yep. Thank you. And then oh I was going to cast magic missile again at that thing. At this one. Yes. Yes. Okay, that's easily going to do enough damage to destroy this one. Good. Um, I don't think Valor would try and hold back and knock it out. Yeah. I think Valor would just seeing this death go panic, ah! dish, 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 yeah. and it just tears the creature apart, and the inky mist just. Whoosh, yeah. Dissipates up but into the atmosphere. Does her body? body take her body's again? dead. Like it, it kind of yeah. get ripped up and torn up. So there is a body that drops. But yeah, it's but it's you can. It's almost like the body was already kind of dead, and this mm. shadow magic was, was keeping it alive. Left. Yeah. Um, so that's Valor's go. I don't want to be taken again. Ayla. <laughs> okay. So you can do this. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna step up next to Missy. Bring the hammer down. I'll make a deck save already. Nine, ten, nine, ten, three, four, fifteen. Hits, but it succeeds on the deck saving throw. Okay. So five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Eleven damage on the hammer, and three is halved. I rolled a six on my. Like, Do you know what that? Yeah. Oh, three. You rolled three, a six. Yeah, I so rolled a six. Three, so three halved. Nice. Oh man, lightning nice. today. Okay, so you can see this one is just about holding on. Um, but barely. You can see it's kind of staggering. It doesn't show any pain. There's no emotion. It doesn't care that the others have been killed. It's just this dark, black-eyed, featureless girl, basically, Brutal. coming after you. Um, Missy. I will assess the situation and try and... Well, you've seen Galen die. You probably would have heard... Horribly like, natural one. Natural one. So you, this time, like, the distraction of, like, you kind of glance around, you see Galen fall, um, what? You don't have advantage. <laughs> <laughs> a tourist dead in my town? Shit. So glad I gave you ownership of these NPCs to take them so seriously. <laughs> Seven. Seven? No. You kind of you swing, but this time the mist goes wide. Uh, the swing what? goes wide. <laughs> what? Arvel Dagus. Why do you sound like, like the Abe's Odyssey? What? <laughs> what? Follow Eat him. me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Yo. Yo. He's got another shot before he needs to reload. Damn it, Vala! Don't panic now. I got you, girl. Uh, and I can I again you can move pick up the crossbow, to yeah. like block. It. I want to again move stand to in between. Yeah, right here. Savala, and then I would like to get sweet Evangeline. Okay. So if you want to shoot with this one, it will have some cover against you because it's currently not. It's kind of like halfway in the doorway. It's technically. Well, would, if if stand, he did right? it before moving, would she? Would can I hold cover? my action? Yeah, you can do like, that. Yeah. Or, so or yeah, can I shoot before I move? Yeah, sure. So I'll shoot before I move. Okay. Yep. Uh, Shoot and move, like a badass. Yeah, like yep. slow motion. Then, then roll, combat yeah. roll, combat it's, it's roll. Slower. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> but a dwarf turn. Oh, got you. It's not very acrobatic. 18. Oh. Hits. Nice. Five. Five points of damage to the one. Great rolls on those gemstone dice. 
and then, then, and then whoo, combat roll. Combat roll, but the crossbow now needs to be reloaded, which mm-hmm. takes an action. Yeah. Um, okay. So back up to the top. Galen's dead. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> oh god. Woo! This one's gonna take another swing at Missy. God, I can't hit you oh. to save my life. Like okay. a thirteen. Just hits the glass. Oh, it, has, it does have advantage. Ding. So this time it's actually a twenty-three to hit Missy. Ooh. Yep. And then uh, Arvel it also has advantage still. That is going to be a eighteen to hit Arvel. Yeah. Why has he only got eleven AC? Because he doesn't wear armor. What, why He's do never you hate bought armor. He doesn't, have any, he doesn't have any of his resources. He's got a set some. So Missy, mm. ooh, that is nine points of piercing damage, and then one necrotic, so ten damage for Missy. Still up? Five. You got five, okay. And then uh, Arvel, that's nine piercing damage and one necrotic. I rolled the exact same thing, so ten. Was this thing? Oh, and Constitution saving throws from both of you, please. Oh no! Uh, Arvel and Missy both have advantage on this because it's poison, and you want to both dwarf. Sixteen is a plus three, right? Uh, Yes. Nine. Uh, You have advantage because you're a dwarf, and this is poison. Fifteen. So that's like what? Plus two. Uh, Plus two. Oh, well, 11. Uh, yeah. 12. 11. 9, 10, 11. Yeah. Okay. 11 and 9. 11 and 9. Arvel, you are poisoned, which means you have disadvantage on attack roll skill checks and everything else. Missy, the poison gets into your bloodstream and she just, her eyes flutter and she falls unconscious, asleep. Oh, like knocked out. Asleep. Like the poison has knocked her out, basically. Mm-hmm. But not on not the door. No. She's, it looks like she's been kind of like rendered unconscious by this poison as it kind of burns through her system. Um, and this, the, the creature now turns on Ayla. Uh, okay. Bala, Hello. you can see like Arvel kind of sputters oh, as this no. black, you know, yeah. you can see this kind of black poison going through his veins oh. from the arm where it cuts his arm. Don't worry about me, uh. child. <laughs> <laughs> Just a little bit dribble. Just comes out bit my beard. Um, bloody dribble. Yeah. Uh, I'm, <clears throat> I'm going to throw one of my daggers at yeah. the dude. <laughs> Yep, yeah. make the attack roll. It's hard so D20 plus the attack roll. Ow. Don't worry about me, Chuck. Ten. Ten is not enough. In so the way. it kind of <laughs> dodges oh. to the side as the dagger goes spinning past, and you just kind of back up um, as it's looming towards you. Mm. Ayla. Oh no. I'm going to take another not bad, uh. swing. Another swing. Yeah. Uh, swing. Same again, so that'll hit. Yep. Um. I'll make a saving throw. Fails this time. Whoop. Uh, so eight, nine, ten on the hammer, mm-hmm. and three on the lightning. And yeah. <laughs> just three. Just Shut up! <laughs> <laughs> you hit, slam it in the head, and you just watch it crumple to the ground. The shadowy magic begins to leak out and dissipate into the world okay, as the I girl's body hits the ground. Then go here. Yeah. And can Is that I, movement? Y- yeah. Yep. Get in the sandwich. I want to get. So you just charge in, basically. Yeah, I want to get. You probably right stood over wood. Galen's body just with his hammer, like in a rage, just like. Ah! Yeah. <laughs> She's in, right in front of Bella. So everyone oh. just surrounding if, if Bella. And if that moves, Missy is unconscious. Uh, Arvel. Bella, yeah. Yep. Uh, can I use Daphne? Yep. To hit this thing. Daphne. Daphne. You're at disadvantage. Daphne. 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 <laughs> Poisoned. <laughs> Running through oh. my. Oh, one of them was a natural twenty. Why are you Shame doing this to me? Eight, nine, ten, eleven to hit. Oh, not enough. Oh. <laughs> uh, yeah. So I guess he he sways a little bit. Come here, you. <laughs> um, and then can I use second wind, please? Yeah, bonus action oh, to no. roll d twin. D20. 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 Roll your D20. Roll your D20. Roll your D20. What's a one? Two Wait, hit points. Two hit back. points back. Way. Oh. Oh. The lowest roll combat. Seeing you on death's door, it's going to attack you, and in its sh- in the shadows, clinging around the lodge now, just this firelight behind it, kind of giving these flickering long shadows. Its form distorts and shifts. Oh, no. That's going to be a 23 to hit Arvel. That doesn't hurt. Mm. It does. It does He's though. magic. Oh. <laughs> He's protected by So that's by seven four. piercing plus three necrotic. That's another ten. And I'm still up! Yet. Wow. No. <laughs> you damn child! Another constitution saving throw, please. You have advantage because you are dwarf. But you have disadvantage because you're poisoned, so just roll it. Straight. Just straight roll. Straight roll. Nine. 
Oh. Oh. So unconscious. I'm unconscious. How am I though? the only one oh. that's Valor, you're up. Valor, come on. Pull out the big guns. I'm like, yeah, I think he'll just go, I got you, Valor. <laughs> <laughs> Comes um, down to Ayla and Valor, the only oh ones still up. Shit. Oh my goodness. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's okay. I put the pressure on. <laughs> just get the big spell out. Is there not one written on there that just says the big spell? Yeah. yeah. <sighs> the big guns. The big boy. Yeah. No. No big spell? No. I mean, Magic missiles. Really. She's used them. Oh, All used of them. them. She no I've, got, I've got cantrips left, but. Oh. Have, you got, mm. have you got the cantrip that's just called big spell? Mm, I've got a sword burst, but that. What's that? That's Sh- got a radius. Shocking Grasp as well. Shocking yeah. Grasp Valor, like. run! Shocking yes. Grasp can do it. Or you could run. Yeah. But I, I don't run. think Valor would run. I don't know. What that do you would think? Valor is a fighter. She'll be like, I want to yeah. get these guys. Yeah. She's like, she's feisty. She's tenacious. Shocking uh, Grasp? I might do Shocking Grasp. I have to touch it though. Yeah. 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 You step over Arvel's body. Yeah. Just jump down. Unconscious body, please. Yeah. Let's define So you this. kind of like yeah. move up onto Arvel. She reaches out her hand, so you make an attack roll with a spell attack bonus. Okay. Which is, uh, where's your spell cast? Uh, D- so plus five, five to hit. So it's a d20, plus five. Nice. Ooh, nice. 22. That's a hit. Nice. So it's a d8. D8. Of damage. Diamond. Yeah. Nice. Ooh. And that doesn't seem to be resisted in any form. So she reaches out, touches the girl's chest, and you watch as art lightning <laughs> arcs over her body. She kind of shudders for a minute, um, but she doesn't go down. Okay. Oh. Ayla. Smack her in the head! Give her the biggest whacking! Yeah. Oh, eight, nine, 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 nine. Thirteen? Just. Ah! Just. Oh. Holy crap. Uh, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve with the hammer. Sorry. And then, does she fail? Yes. Five. <gasps> lightning. The most damage lightning has ever done. The most so damage lightning has yeah. ever done. Like you reach over in this rage, you watch as you see Arvel kind of falling down. You watch as Valor reaches over, blasts it with a lightning in the chest, which stuns it long enough for you to get a real swing in with the hammer. Wham! <gasps> you slap it into the Ooh. side, you send it flying back into the fireplace as you watch like the oh, fire damn. kind of overwhelm it <laughs> as it erupts. And you probably hear just the faint sort of like as the, the necrotic energy flies off of this being. <laughs> Nobody touches <does> that! <laughs> I didn't mean peace like this. God damn it. Peace out. <laughs> See you, bitches. All right. Oh, God. Ruined! Um, so is Arvel on zero and unconscious, or is he like 4 no. HP, but he's been sleeping? 4 HP, you've been sleeping. You, okay. The poison has put you, has rendered you unconscious. Oh. Yeah. Same with Missy Steel Eye as so well. So we don't need to make That it. lasts for an hour. Um, yeah, what do Ayla and Valor want to do? I want a hug. Can I have a hug? <laughs> hug Ayla. Yes, yeah, Valor just like rushes over and like throws her arms around Ayla. Um, just probably like uh, just don't step just on my corpse, please. Thank you. <laughs> Jumping over. Uh, the, the, body of, the body of Galen Sands just <laughs> lies there. You can see that the throat has been pretty much torn out by this blade, oh, um, and the Seriously. others outside seem to be injured. Um, Are they still alive? You don't know. Maybe. Can I try and help them? Sh- yeah. Can I say to Vala, take care of Arvel. See if he's okay. I'm just going to check everyone else. Okay. Don't go near that body. Okay. Look away, look away, Valor, look away! Oh, look away. I mean, she's, look she's, away. she's seen the dead body of her guardians like that looked after her for years, so I don't think some random guy that she barely knows is okay. So you run outside, whose body do you want to check? So there's the villagers, the blacksmith, and then Missy's. Uh, so Missy's in the same state as... You Arvel, look, right? at, a brief glance seems to be in the same state. Okay, Not bleeding look to at death, the but blacksmith. unconscious. Okay, medicine check. Yeah, Ten. 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 Um, so he is bleeding. Uh, let's see how well if he's dead. <laughs> yep, dead. Let's see how dead he is. Uh, okay, so he is dying, but you can stabilize him with that ten if you want. Yes. He, he is neither. I will stabilize. He is not stabilized, nor has he bled to death yet. So you stabilize the blacksmith. You move up to one of the villagers. Mm-hmm. Let's see how they did. 
I rolled a 20 for a medicine. Nice. Oh, that's very good. This oh, one, that's very good. It means shit all. No, it does mean shit all because this one, it looks like, had, oh, was unconscious, but the bleeding had managed, the bleeding okay. stopped. It was in a vital location. Okay. So don't don't roll the medicine until I tell you that you need to. Oh, okay. I thought I needed to for all of them. Okay, that one rolled a natural 20. So they're, they're alive. You actually go up to them and you can see that they're crying, like they're whimpering. Who is it? It's the woman. Um, you can see this woman is just like crying but whimpering, but she's alive, but she's badly injured. Okay. Um, right. Um, can I... Oh! Don't crumple up Galen! Oh. <laughs> oh. Also, can I just ask, was he named after the guy from Battlestar? No. Damn it. I don't generally name people after shows, but if they have similar names, maybe I heard well, it like and thought Galen that's a and cool name. Galen Tyrrell. Sure, but I, I didn't think of it. I killed Galen. <laughs> All characters in the show are fictitious. Yeah. 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 <laughs> it's purely coincidental. Um, um, yeah. So at this point, yeah, everybody's either stable. Every, everybody who's dead is dead, and anybody who's alive is going to survive. All right, um, Mark, I get it. If you're dead, you're dead. <laughs> um, okay. And yeah, and you can yeah. A song about it. You you don't know where these girls came from or anything. Okay. Can but I have you a know look that the around. last place they went was the Acorn and Bale. Can I have a look around, sure. um, just in general in the streets, and see? and around the house and just sort of perimeter check mm -hmm. and see what's going on. Sure, yeah. Uh, perception check, I think. Uh, 19. 19. So looking around, you don't get the sense that there's any more creatures around. You don't get the sense that there's any more of these things, but also you don't get a sense that there's any more trouble going on in the town. The town is quiet. Um, it looks like Missy's probably gathered up a few people and <laughs> sent everybody else away uh, to investigate what happened at the store. You don't right. see anything else, and you don't hear anything else either. It's relatively quiet. Too okay. quiet. Oh, good. Um, is there anything new changing on the lake? No. So, oh, in the lake, you just see the lights. At this just point, the same thing? I don't think that enough time has passed that you would see anything change, and we'll find out uh, if there will be anything Why would anything change, Mark? Yeah. Um, okay. So what do you want to do as Ayla now? Do you want to try uh, and find the others, or do you want to just try and secure Valor? I, well, I want to make sure that Arvel and Missy are stabilized mm -hmm. and okay. Okay, so, so I don't, at least I don't hour. want to leave these guys mm -hmm. in this state. Okay, I, I, yeah, so that would be about an hour. We need to take care of them. Okay, and then as long as they're okay, you're going to go look for the others. Then I'll probably, yeah, but I'll probably try and take if Arvel's well enough to come with us, mm -hmm. take Arvel and Vala too. Okay, because I don't want them left on there. I don't want to leave Vala. Sure, no, that makes sense. Perfect. She's sense. not leaving my sight. Yeah. <laughs> not Arvel. He's just yeah, he's dribbling on well. the floor. That's what I said. I said yeah. I'm staying here. You're being, you're being all protective yeah. about her. What about little Arvel? Because Arvel is trying to too. Arvel, who's Arvel about is an to be adult kidnapped. dwarf. He needs love too. He does need love. But anyway, yeah, but so... Yeah, but Vala is the one being kidnapped. So that is an hour. So you'll have a short rest. If you want to take a short rest as Ayla, I don't know if you even need one. I, it I doesn't think... really make a difference. Yeah, you, you took a little bit of damage, way. but not a lot. Um, so that's a short rest. By that, at, at the end of an hour, Arvel and Missy wake up. But whilst that goes on... Does that count as a it short rest for Arvel? Yeah, yeah, it does yeah, count yeah. as a short rest for Arvel, Sweet. yes. So uh, any of Meanwhile. his hit dice, uh, Kim, if you want to spend any of his hit dice, oh, which are in a bracket next to his name, does the I'm ship gonna... get a long rest? No. <laughs> this we... was going on while we were yes. going through the tunnels, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. We had a whole day of sleeping. Is it six? What is this so hit back. dice? That's just how that's counted. It's in the brackets. Next to his HP. It's, uh, I've used some D8. device. Yeah. So he back. went 2d8 plus 1d10. Yes, Whoops. so either of the 2d8s or 1d10 is his, his hit dice. Oh. He's a multi-class. Wait, wait, wait. Sorry. Uh, Sorry. He's, he's an NPC with a fighter level. Okay. Oh, oh my god. Okay, so what? a new map coming in. Where we were. Where we, we were. With the... Where we were. Where we were. Where we were. Where, where, where we were. were. Where we were. Wow, where we were. Where we were. were. <laughs> wow. Where? Um, we were. Oh, yeah, and there was. Where we were. The bow. Bo Tiangong. Say the name. Twangong. There you go. <laughs> Do you want Arvel's thing back? No, you can keep it because I'm in my space. Okay. And then, in terms of where you guys were, you're going to have to help me because I didn't actually think. I don't think I took a picture. I, I think most we, of you were in this we were room. In the, yeah. I think we all went to that door, didn't we? No, oh, no, no, no. I no. stole the hand. Rhiannon, Century was you were I was playing with doors and hands. <laughs> yeah, I was like, yeah. And then I think... You, I was still in the room. I think you and Lucius were in the room, I think, and then Santa was kind of next to Quill. Mm. I think that's vaguely how it was. Cool. Just going to take some right. notes. Now I'll put my mic back on. 
keep it because I don't have enough space. Just throw it on the ground or something. Um, <coughs> okay. And then when you're done with notes, if you want to, mm -hmm. you're going to have to run Santa in combat sure. for me. So, we cut back as we see uh, Ayla kind of tending to the others, making sure that Arvel and, and everybody else is fine. We kind of, the, if you wanted to see this in a, if you picture it in a cinematic way, the kind of camera really pans like down this. through the ground. Well, I think it helps. Like I see everything like in a movie in my head, so Same. this is a nice way to describe it. We see the camera kind of pan down through the ground, and then the kind of sh the train shifts from the earth Ooh. into the tunnels, this crystalline green glowed ship's hallway. As we see the doors kind of slide open, and one of these remnant masked knights kind of look out as he looks down this corridor and sees everybody except Sentry. Sentry's the only one he didn't see with his perception oh, yeah. check. Because um, yeah. you all attempted to hide, but the rest of you, he either hears or sees you, um, and is like, Sir, we have intruders. Sir, we have intruders. Uh, and you see another figure, a man with black and white hair, um, remnant looking armor. You can see there is a, a Thunderstone pistol at his side, and he wears these elaborate braces, um, and he kind of looks up slowly, and kind of regards it like, hmm, then we'd best deal with them, Knight. And kind of gestures towards it. Uh, it's going to be another initiative for oh, everybody wow. here. Because, I mean, this is literally jumping straight in. I know it's a lot of combat. Nat 20! Nice. Nat 20! What the hell? <laughs> Let me go round. So, what does Santa get? 12. 12. Quill. Nat 20? No, I got 11. <laughs> Nova. 23. Lucius. 22. Sentry. 6. Six, and now I need to roll for Demos and his knights. What? Sorry? Who? Who? What's that name? He did actually call out the name last time, so. It's oh not... yeah, they they on the on the oh, yeah. speakerphone, walkie-talkie. So that. just in case no one wrote that down, Demos. I, I did actually, <laughs> or did I? I never doubt that you write it down. Take them to Demos. Yeah. Kim. Demos. Okay. Demos. So Nova, you're inside the room. The guard seems to know you're there, has heard you conversing or called out or something like that. But he hasn't seen you yet. You've not seen the, the room itself open. Um, what do you want to do? Can I commune with Tiangong? So you try and focus on Tiangong yeah. itself. And ask if it knows, if it heard... Ask about the bow, if we can... Yeah, so yeah. I'll describe that. So when the doors open, we see this large chamber with these gangways uh, leading up to a long containment thing, sort of like a large crystal with technology kind of attached to the top and bottom. And you can see that pipes are feeding in and out of the out of this crystal that the bow, the bow is housed in. Inside this crystal, floating, suspended, is a bow that seems to be made out of jagged black ice with a thin wisp of shadow as the bowstring. Um, and as you first opened it, you hear in your heads a voice that is erratic, whispered almost. Yes, no, no, killed too many. Who? Strange. Presence, familiar, something. Can't be. Tiangong? Um, and you hear the recognition of the name. So you focus Nova on your mind and there is a sense of understanding. There is, you get the sense of familiarity. Um, that's the best you can get out of him. Like, you, you know that he can't communicate with you in that way. Yeah. Um, but he does, it does seem that whatever this voice is, it recognizes it. And then I'm just, I'm, I, I don't know, like, I, I know that Tiangong's not necessarily going to communicate, uh, what's the word, clearly back to me, but I'm just going to say, we need to rescue it. Please help us. There is a, there is an understanding. There, there is a mm. agreement. And then I'm also going to say, the last thing I'm going to say is, please don't be scared. I won't let them take you. And there, there is a, you get the response back of, of trust in you, but also there is a relief. There is a sense of relief there. You, you know it does not want to be kept in this place. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, okay, so that's your turn. Uh, Lucius, what's your dex modifier? It is. Or your dex score, sorry. Plus two. Okay, so it's not you. Um, you watch as the figure that was observing the bow beforehand 
walks forward 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, to about here. So to the door that we opened? Mm-hmm. Okay. He just shoves it. And you see him, <laughs> he pulls out his, he pulls out the Thunderstone pistol, which you can see is different to the one Quill had. The one you had is quite utilitarian. Mm-hmm. This one is elaborate, um, made from sleek black and metal, uh, silver metal. It's engraved with runes. He pulls from his belt um, some sort of runic looking object, like a bullet shaped object, but covered in runes. Opens up a six chambered thing, slots it in, pulls it back, and you see him, he kind of focuses for a moment and probably would just say, web shot, and fires the, the bullet into just around here. Oh, next to me and Sana. Next to you, Sana, and I think this might hit everybody. Could somebody look up? I forgot everybody. to bring my player's handbook. Can somebody check the spell web for me and tell me the radius of it? Sure. Gets first is... Gets um, inspiration. No. <laughs> you have uh, my appreciation. 60 foot, no. Yes, yeah, 60 20 foot. foot cube. 20, 20 foot cube, okay. So if he aims it here, it would be 5, 10, 15, 20. Okay, so it would actually, if he, he'd aim it here then, and it would go, it would hit the four of you, but not sentry. Hmm. So basically everything in that room, you watch as the bullet hits the ground, there is a flash of arcane energy and these stringy thick webs of almost like silvery metallic thread just poof, erupt everywhere. Jesus. That's a dex save, I believe, from everybody. Oh. Uh, not sentry. 17. 17 for Santa. 13. 14. 14. 8. 8. So most of you manage to kind of like duck out the way, leap into cover as these webs kind of uh, explode around you, but Lucius, you are like pinned to the wall by these webs. <laughs> Like, uh, um, the first time, and you just you just hear the man like you can see the the empty runic chamber like ting 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 ting, and he just calls out, <clears throat> one of them is trapped, capture him. I don't. We need to get information out of them. How does he know? <laughs> he might corner. have been the hello. Yeah, <laughs> very much Not so. The first time. Um, <laughs> and then yeah, the re- and then he just he just continues aiming down the corridor basically with this with this weapon. Um, Lucius. So you can attempt to break free of the webs um, yes, if you I'll want. Do that. So do you want it? You can try and rip yourself free. I'm going to try and rip myself free. Yeah. Okay. What is that? Um, so it is a uh, strength no. or dexterity saving throw, I believe. I'll use dex. Okay. Natural one. It just keeps <laughs> coming in so more. <laughs> it's just you, you, like your arms are like no. stuck to the wall. You can can't really wiggle. I've got through. my head stuck to my face. <laughs> Somehow. <laughs> You have your hand stuck to your face. So you are currently restrained. You can still take other actions, but yeah, your movement is, you can't move. You're currently move zero. You have disadvantage on attack rolls. You have disadvantage on... I can cast a spell there. You can try and cast a spell, yeah. Cantrip Blade Ward. Blade Ward on yourself. That's your shirt. If if we get the I'm a Delight shirt, it's I cast Blade Ward on myself. (laughs) Dead air. Would you want a shirt that says I'm a Delight? Because I am a Delight. (laughs) Ten out of ten. So, ten, out of ten. Delight. delight. <laughs> Santa's go. What would Santa like to do? Yeah. <laughs> Give him a kicking. So she is. Give him a kicking. She is a Santa, big kicking bunny lady. Yeah. She is a big kicking bunny lady. But Katie is a bit confused as to what we should do in this situation. So I'm gonna yeah, that would make hold sense. my I think action. Everybody is. Yeah. I'm gonna hold my action um, and step back. And if they attack me, then I will. Okay. So you're ready in action if you get. Already in action. Okay. Quill. Because I'm confused. So with my shield thing that yeah. I can cast, is that maneuverable? Like, can I have it? It up works up? like a shield. It's, so it literally just you can you can vaguely, but I mean, what you, what are you trying to do with it is the main question. I kind of want to blackbeard it and have it in front of my pistol, so it's a covering my face. Oh, nice. You that it would provide no more additional benefit to what it normally would. For visuals, you can absolutely do it because okay. it's cool. In that case, but it doesn't provide you any additional benefit. I'll swing out my um, you barrier, ring. barrier ring. And, and then, then get my Thunderstone pistol yeah. out, and I'm just sort of going to sort of stand, pointing down the corridor back at him. Okay. Not with my two hands. So you're going to move. Okay. Um, so you need, to, if you want a clear shot, you need to move out into the corridor. But, uh, can you not? Can you hold something while you have a shield up? Uh, well, no, no, it's a barrier can't. ring. So like shields. Yes, he can hold separate. it. Basically, he can still use okay. that hand. Oh, okay. But he, yeah, he it's, can still hold yeah, it. Yeah, it's like, like hovering the, the point of the ring. Um, yes. Hand. Yes. Uh, and I'm just going to point it at him, and I guess I'm going to. Hold again and just like wait for okay. them to come down. I, 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 <laughs> so if they approach, you'll take a shot. Yeah. 
Okay. Whichever one approaches. Okay. Um, okay. So at this point, this one starts approaching. <laughs> 5, 10, 15, 20, 20 yes. Well, in that 30. case, this one Shoot puts dead. him in his fucking face. Five! <laughs> <laughs> so you can see watching the, the man, the commander, watches this, you know, with a half-raised eyebrow, <laughs> kind of like watching it interestedly. Um, so you fire, the, the kind of ricochet blows you back almost again. This running guard you can see with this kind of purple staff just ducks as the bullet <laughs> hits into the crystal. The warning shot. Him. Hits the bow. Um, <laughs> oh no. And then he will actually. Where's the bow actually? In the chamber. Dash. In there. Yes, okay, in cool. this chamber at the back. So you watch as this guard dashes towards you and he's going to make two quick strikes with oh, the wow, staff. Oh okay. So that's a 21 and a 6. First this is one my does. action thing. Uh, he he's not attacking you. Ah. Oh. He's attacking I should Quill. Be more specific. I said uh, I meant, but I didn't. Say I heard. You, I thought you said attack you. So, uh, so nine damage. Also, you need to step closer to him, which you can't do because you're only ready the action, not the movement. Well, that's a waste. <coughs> okay. So, did you take that? That was uh, nine. nine damage. Yep. Yeah. As the okay. staff like whams into your arm, um, holding the ring and pistol, oh. um, kind of staggers you to the side. Sentry. Hello. So Hello. you had placed the hand on this door. Yep. You hear it as this is happening. Like yeah. this is all kind of happening at once. It opens and you can see kind of sat on a bedroll, like a straw bedroll, looking a little dazed. Uh, yeah, you can flip it over. Flip it over. Um, you can see looking a little dazed and a little bit otherworldly. You can see like her skin almost has like very faint black wisps of inky shadow kind of curling up it. But you can see she still kind of like looks up to you. You can see a girl that looks very much like Valor, um, just kind of looks up at you like, you're not one of them. Oh, no, um, how long have you been here? And then you hear, web shot, and then oh. whack, whack. <laughs> <laughs> you okay. kind of hear this kind of go off behind you. All right. Um, as she, and she kind of like looks up, and you can see she kind of backs up as she sees this guard run forward. Okay, um, I'll tell her, okay, um, stay quiet, I'll come back for you. And just I'll, nods. I'll shut the door. Okay, so put the, the, yeah, the like, dismembered hand. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then I want to... Mm, he doesn't know I'm there yet, does he? No, he doesn't. You were the only one he didn't know. Oh, okay. What would you like to My do? My surprise. I kind of want a flame lance, but it's a bit risky. It is a little bit, it's considering little that bit right risky. behind him is Sarah is everybody, and Nova. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm... Like How far guy. away is he? Is he like? Mm, would you, you say? Is that, that like? You can move towards him. Yeah. yeah, I'm like. Yeah. Mm, mm, mm. I'm gonna channel divinity. Okay. Um, and use it on um, nature's wrath. Okay. Um, Tell us, what does this do? Yeah. It sounds very it sounds exciting. Fancy. Cool. So it's like uh, like a spectral like purple energy vines that like spring up from the floor and mm -hmm. entangle this dude. Which one? This dude right here. This one, dude. Right. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And then do I need to um, save uh, uh, saving throw? Strength or deck saving throw, your choice. Um, so be strength. DC 12. Okay, DC, uh, he rolled a 13, unfortunately. Ah, uh, rats. So okay. these vines kind of erupt, and does it persist or is it just once off? Uh, the vines disappear on success. Okay, so yeah, they kind of reach up to grab him and he looks down, but you, you can, he spins the staff around, kind of knocking aside the uh, spectral vines. Okay, and, then, and then he obviously knows you're there now. He like looks over. He's like, oh, "There's one more. There's one more, sir." God damn. He's like, <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember. That's because that's what they sound like. Okay. Cool. Okay. Yep. All right. That's me. Hmm. Nova. Can I kill him? Eldritch blast. No, I'm going to attack him with um, Tiangon. Okay, so you move up. So move uh, so over up I next to him. Up, um, and then... So you barrel past Sana, swing in the dagger, Tiangong form. 17 to hit. Hits. Uh, hang on, one second. So as you go to swing Tiangong at him, from back in the corridor, you watch as the commander with his pistol fires a shot to try and knock your blade out of, like, like when you go to strike him. Um, he can increase. Oh, no, he has to be within a certain range, so he can't do that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, so that was quite the throw. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Damage. Nine points of damage. He's dead, right? Yes. Right. No. Um, ah. 
So you watch as the green flame kind of erupts around him. I don't think you've got anybody in range to do the additional damage to. Oh, I didn't say green flame. Oh, you just I attacked just him normally. Just oh, okay. Yeah, so you just face. you just stab him and he kind of lurches forward like, ah! Okay, and I say, we need to save the bow. The bow's the power supply for the ship. Oh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> No, he's coming. 15, 20, 25, 30. Bring it on. I feel like I've built all this map and then this is well, taking can, place in a corridor. We can explore later. Yeah, yeah, yeah we'll get it's it. fine. It's fine. Um, so he begins, and you just watch as he just is very calmly. He walks up, kind of. I'm almost imagining him like reloading his gun as he just slowly walks oh, down I this don't corridor. Like that. Um, mm. And then he will see you kind of coming out the side. Um, he'll take a shot at you and seems to be aiming for your vital points. No, don't. Not your 21 points. to hit. Yeah, um... Yeah. Don't you try and shield me, you're out of spell slots. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. So, that is gonna be... 8 plus 3, 11, plus his sneak attack damage. So that is gonna be... 11 plus 9. 20 points of damage as this wow. bullet... Wow. Slams into Jesus your side. Christ. As he targets, like, you know, a vulnerable point on your side, like, you feel like this bullet impact probably breaks ribs. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, you gasp for air. <laughs> just like a little scream. You just hear him, like, Psh. You've clearly gotten yourselves into more than you bargained for. Who are you? Why are you here? Uh, Lucius. Um. <laughs> I'm just going to try and rip myself free. Mm -hmm. That's my action. 14 plus 2. That's enough. So 16. you kind of, like... Get your hands you, you up, actually, over. Your little strong boy body that we only found out about last turn. Flex! And you pull yourself free from these webs. Weird flex. Yeah, weird but flex, okay. but okay. <laughs> I'm gonna... Uh, that was an action. Yes, no, it's move. Move to escape. Was it? Mm. Okay, as a... Action then? Mm -hmm. uh, bonus action, I'm gonna... Spend my source two sorcery points to gain a second level spot slot back. Playing the game, I love it. <laughs> <laughs> Using tactics. Yay! You got it. You <laughs> spend two sorcery points, you get what? Uh, one second level. One second no, level. No, three. Sorry, three. three yeah, I was going to say it's three for to get. I'm going to cast Melf's Acid Arrow on this bitch. Which one? The this one here. Yeah, you the can't see the other guy. You can see the the one that hit um, Quill. Yeah. Hit Quill. Yep. Yep. Okay. So yeah, you. <laughs> Green burst of arrow like acid projectile launches yes. forward. A little bit of like web residue mm -hmm. on it from my hand. <laughs> so let's say plus five. So that is a 19 to hit. 19 to hit. And you've really melted this guy. Melted him. <laughs> you've melted him up. <laughs> so you watch as the Mel's acid arrow it's sails 19. through the air. Yeah. The, it looks like it's just about to hit the guy in front of it, and you watch as the, the gunslinger kind of man like fires a shot. It hits the acid, which sprays it and causes it to miss. It increases his AC, um, so he increases his body's AC by firing the shot to deflect the spell effect. Um, it kind of like hits the acid in such a way that it sprays it out, giving the time uh, guy time to duck. Um, but you, does it have an effect on a miss? Um, let me double check. I believe it does. On a miss, the arrow splashes the target with acid. For half as much there you go. initial damage. Oh. Hmm. Well, all right. That's fine. And also, if he's resistant, he's not. I know. Because you've got your new elemental adept feet. I'm an and elemental. any ones you roll yeah. count as twos. Yeah, go oh. for it. Cool. No. Well, I'm sorry resistant. to put down your cool plan of spending your sorcery points, <laughs> but, but that is his reaction. That's a really bad roll. So no, it's not, because those are four, oh, yeah. nine. Nine points of acid. Halved. Oh man, wow, that's really cool actually. Oh wait, it's 2d4. Oh wait, yeah, it's 2d4 on the next turn. But you don't get that on a miss, do you? Oh, no damage yet. Yeah, yeah. Right. yeah. Okay, so you want to some of the acid sprays the guy, um, but your Dichromancy goes off, because that's an acid spell. Boom. So you can do another, uh, that was a second level spell. Yes. So that's five points of damage to same target? Correct. Okay. So you watch as the acid kind of sprays over him and then you pull some of the, the orange uh, color from the air and... I'm going to pull out my eye. You just... And then... Boom. It's that color. Yeah. Nice. Nice. Pulls it out. Well, it doesn't really work that way. It you does. You have to look at something like that color. Cannon. <laughs> sure. I can look sure. at my own eye. <laughs> sure. Who's cross eyes? Uh, Ayla. No, I'm not Ayla. Uh, Santa. Santa. Um, okay. Can I okay. try and kick... This dude yep. somehow. So you'd step in between Nova and Quill. 
Um, yep, and she kind of raises her hands up and then she kicks with her legs three times. <laughs> she kicks uh, like 19. a million times. Hits. Roll all of your attacks at once uh -huh. and we'll see how Just many need to get a... Oh, I'm so excited for this. Uh, 16. Hits. Uh, Misses. So two, two ones hit. So that's 2d8 plus uh, the bonus. Seven. Bam. Bam. Nice. Eight. So Jesus. plus six. 21 so. points of damage. Yeah. So you watch her. as Santa just like bicycle kicks oh. him. She like jumps in the air. One, two that's kick, fun. like oh. kind of hit his chest. The first one you think breaks the armor and like wow. begins crushing his ribs. She's the fun. second one impales his heart with his own arm. Oh. Just <laughs> You just watch his blood spatters out of the yeah. helmet. And then just <laughs> <coughs> Amazing. And then just claps, and then she just lands like her hands up like a Muay Thai, like boom. How come the NPCs are way better than us? I didn't roll that this time. At least it's not me controlling it this time. I think she killed like three I want to make it better <laughs> as her than I did as it. <laughs> well, it's because she has multiple attacks, which yeah, you guys don't get. Yeah, she's got a lot of attacks. Uh, 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 next levels. level, damn it, next level. Yeah, next level. Um, okay, Quill. Um, right, okay. We'll go to the end of this combat, then we'll take the break. This, so, end of this round, I should say. I would, Quill would know this. The gun has a explosive thing inside it, doesn't it? Your gun does. My gun. The bullets do. So it's the bullets themselves have a thing called a thunderstone, right? Uh, which when it's struck, it basically creates like a thunderous force in the barrel, which projects like the tip of the bullet forward. Oh, so the gun itself, all it is is just something that impacts that. Damn it. Um, can I retrospectively move a little bit? Sure, you can continue your movement, yeah. Okay, um... I'll spread out. Yeah. A bit. yeah. I, no, it makes sense. I'm gonna... I guess he still has his pistol pointed at us all, Yeah, he's, he's kind of like holding it in one hand, yeah. And he's kind of looking... Watching this like seven foot tall bunny woman decimate his guard. He's like... Mm. Seems to be like... Impressive. Uh, impressive. Damn No it. release your anger. Wait, which one's my... Would big you like heels. to take your turn at any point? Yeah, no, I was looking for my big heels, my cure wounds. I'm going to cure wounds myself. Okay, so just level one cure wounds. Although, actually, how bad's Nova? <coughs> I mean, you might be worse than me. I don't know, though. I'm 14. You're better than me. I'm going to cure wounds myself. Okay, uh, so level one spell slot. You're so squishy. You're a squishy boy. Oh! Three hit points. Four. Roll one. Four. At the end of your turn, He's going to take his dynamic combat action, his legendary action. Oh, could I? Sorry, I wanted to also move towards Sentry. Ooh. Sure, you move wherever you want. Sentry. Right Come hither. Sentry. He sees you kind of heal, heal yourself. Ah, a priest. Oh, Fires what the a shot. Hell? Oh, but he doesn't have an ally next to you anymore. Uh, so that's going to be. Oh, not very much. That's only a 10. Uh, doesn't hit. Okay, so this time the bullet. <laughs> I thought you meant 10 damage for a second. Yeah. So I was like, yeah. <laughs> One, two, three, four. Okay. Um, that was at the end of Quill's turn. Uh, oh god, it's, uh, the other guard. So he oh yeah, no, that's not about him. One. Oh, I forgot there was another one. <laughs> What's he doing? No! You don't know what he's doing, he's doing something in the room. He's just gonna get in the box and hide. <laughs> I'm out. Sentry. <laughs> cool. Um, I'm gonna like combat roll style out of my little hidey hole thing. <laughs> like a transformer. <laughs> Yeah. And Where I'm do you gonna, want to go? You run up to him? I'm gonna, yeah, I'm going to flame lance this dude. Oh, you just like come okay. out and come just out and aim like, the laser. <laughs> yeah. Okay, Straight so wow. what I do for this? Uh, so it's a DC 13 deck saving throw. Oh, he's going to do so. He's going to resist, isn't he? Let's do it. He gets a re-roll. He gets one re-roll per combat. I'm debating whether I want to use it now. I mean... I used it, but that wasn't much better. So it's a 10. Oh, so 3d10 fails. fire damage. 3d10 and you take 6 cold. I take 6 cold, that's cool. I, that's <laughs> that's so cool. cool. So Ice cool. cool. Ice cold. Where, do you need Where are all my d10s at? Here's one. Thank you. And, and then, then I need the one more. One. Have a flashy this, this, new no, one. This one? Got, that one, there that he is. One. Oh, cool, I got three. Oh, thank you. Can I have that back? Out of my way! Oh, it's not very good. Three, that's a 10. That's a 10. 10. 10. No, 10. You're 14, 14. 14 damage. Yes, please. So, you kind of you aim this like wrist mounted uh, device, like this arcane device with this one like shape. The flame, the line of flame launches out. You can see he, he like tries to duck and roll, but you just 
sort of like kind of blasts the room, yeah. leaving this scorch mark along the black crystalline halls. He comes out of it, and you can see that his armor is blasted and scorched. His arm is kind of like smoldering a little bit. He just is like, impressive guardian. I wonder, and then he begins raising up his pistol to do something. But that's where we're going to take a break. Oh. We're going to take a break. Oh, if Ayla was okay. here, she would appreciate that. Yes. Loss. <laughs> we'll see you in five to finish off this pretty dramatic combat encounter. Yeah. Hopefully, get everyone back together. Mm. See you in five. Bye. In a bit. Bye.
Welcome back to High Rollers D&D. Rhiannon was singing a small song before we went live. <laughs> That's why I was dancing. <laughs> Welcome back. Uh, you join us in the middle of a desperate battle inside the remnant battleship deep beneath Rosewater <laughs> Lake. <laughs> deep beneath. <laughs> beneath. Why, why must beneath. you mock? Why must it's you mock? Too easy. It's too I'm easy. Sorry. Nova, you watch oh, as okay. uh, this battle ensues and you can see this figure, yeah, no, uh, this demos, is beginning to kind of assess the situation. You can see him kind of raising up his Thunderstone pistol. Kill what him. would you like to do? Pew pew. Uh, pew pew. <laughs> uh, can I shout him, who are you? And then Eldritch blast him and walk backwards. <laughs> <and swim. laughs> who are you? Um, Actually, I don't want to go backwards into the room because I don't want to get trapped in there. Can I go like 30 feet? This Once I blast, like go 30 feet down the corridor, yes. which is off the map. <laughs> it's about there. Why do you hate me? Um, why do you not build map? Oh, don't take him. Um, why um, do you not build map? <laughs> <laughs> 15 to hit. He's thinking. He's thinking again. I don't like when he thinks. Hits. Oh. It's got like resistances. Is that a 10 or a 1? If it's a 1, it's a 1. That's a 1. Oh. But it says 10. Um, it's yeah, it's a D10. Dice. <laughs> yeah. Oh. So the, you kind of fire the blast, and in cool bad guy fashion, you just get a. But then he I, he's like, looks at you curiously at the way that you're holding the knife, and the power kind of comes from the blade. He kind of cu he's curious. He's like, who am I? I'm more interested in who you are and why you're carrying a remnant tech. And then he, he goes like, but first there are some things I need to deal with. You see him pop open another one of these runic bullets, slams it into the gun, slams it shut, points it at sentry. I shot, fires it. Um, let's see if he hits you first. I don't like this man. Uh -oh. So I think that's gonna miss you, because it's only an eight. Yep. But then, as it like you raise up the shield, mm -hmm. the bullet slams into it, and then it erupts into a burst of ice around you. Oh, and you and Quill both make uh, is ice knife constitutional dex troc because you used to cast this. Dex, one. isn't yeah, it? I believe it's the dex. Dex, yeah. So dex saving throw, please. I remember it from the freaking cow incident. Uh, it's twelve for me. Twelve as well. Okay, so you're both gonna take uh, le damage. Oh. On this, that's <laughs> ten points of cold. Oh, jeez. Oh, oh, my God, on one hit. That's As the, the bullet slams in and then it kind of mm. erupts all around you. We're gonna have two characters killed. You need some armor. But I mean, I don't hit armor points. wouldn't have saved me then. Mm. Oh yeah, you better move back. <gasps> yeah, he's just like, he fires that and then he kind of like backs up, kind oh, of covering himself. Mm. Yeah, I do, but I can use it one more time. Um, and yeah, he'll, he, well, he doesn't need to call it back, yeah. Lucius. Mm. Still in range of me. Hmm. Mm. Let me ask you a question, and then you tell me no. I'd be like, <laughs> fair enough. Armor Agathus. Yes. Can I twin it and put one on someone else? I believe you can't twin spells that have a range of self. Right. You can only twin spells that have a target of one. So you can't twin fireball, for example. Twin? Yeah, twin spell is a sorcerer of Meta -magic. magic. Oh. Um, I believe, check the, the rules for it, but I believe it says any target that targets one You're creature, right. you can twin it and hit another creature of the same target. You're probably right. In which case... But you can cast, cast Armor of Angathus on yourself. I'm going to cast it on myself. Yep, first level. First level. So you get five temporary five. hit points. And if a creature hits me with a melee attack... Whilst you have those temporary hit points. Whilst I have them. Yep. Duration is an hour. Yep. Um, they take five cold damage. Yep. Uh, now, you would normally still get your Dichromancy, because it does deal cold damage type, but I don't believe there is anybody in range for you to target with it. Nor I do I have a cantrip it. or a level one spell that I could fire with ice. Yeah. Or chromatic war, I guess. No, Armor of Agathis deals cold damage, so it counts. <laughs> okay. Uh, would you like to move, Lucius? Mm. I will start moving forward. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. There. Okay, so you stood next to Santa. Um, so Lucius is Behind good. Santa. <laughs> Santa. Santa's go. Oh, God, he's too far. I'll run up to him. I'll kick him in the face. He's got. 40 feet of movement, holy yes. crap. And she, she has a, she has a, a monk um, boost. She's got one left where she can dash as well. Makes sense. Mm -hmm. So you can't make it in without dashing. Couldn't make it to him without dashing, yeah. Um, okay. In which case, I will dash. 
and I will run up to him and hit okay. him in the face. Okay. Three. So use the last dash, and then you can make uh, three attack rolls. Uh, 21. Hits. Uh, yeah, so more yeah. than oh. that. Three. Hits. Ooh. Um, 20. 20. Three hits. Oh. Nice. Take a kick. Take a kick. There's a lot of kicks. <laughs> kick, kick. I know, I know, I know. Rolling kick. <laughs> like Chun-Li. Is it Chun-Li? Yeah. Is she the one that kick. makes that weird noise when she kicks as well? <laughs> Who's the one Did you roll like... 4d8? No. 24, altogether. Four points. Boom, 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 boom. No, I rolled three, but I can only find two. So you watch as Senna just like lays into him with these kicks, like bam, bam, into his side, last one. And he's defending himself, but you can see he's like weathering these blows. Um, uh, he probably is like, ah, oh, yes, you're that bounty hunter that's been searching for the girl. Um, I've been trying to deal with you for some time. Ooh. At the end of Senna's go, he does like a defensive roll, five, ten. Expositional oh, man. <laughs> yeah. He rolls back. Most of you, in fact, he'll go completely out of view of the corridor, so only Santa can now see him. And then he'll take a shot at Santa for a uh, 17 to hit. Yep. Ooh. Santa's going to take, that's, uh, ooh, max damage, so ooh, ooh. 13. Not got money. Um, but you then see he's like, ah, and he holsters the pistol. <laughs> oh. He's out of the six well, shots. Easy. Yes. I'm so not looking so fantastic. I hear. Uh, so that was his dynamic combat action. Quill. God. I mean, um, I don't really want to do much. I can't heal myself. I'm going to blade ward myself, though. Cool. So action blade ward. It's a great spell. Move action. Uh, action blade ward. And um, could I have a move action that's basically just stay behind sentry? What, so if Sentry moves up, you kind of follow along her? Or? Yeah, like I want to stay within her range. Okay, yep. Um, I'll say you can do that. Okay, so I, yeah, I blade ward so you myself. you just got like a hand on Sentry's shoulder and you're like following her wherever yeah. she goes. Okay. in a real bad way, Sentry. You don't have any kill wins around? No kill wins, no spells at all. Sentry. Cool, I'm going to lay on hands Quill. Uh, give him 10 points. That's your action. Oh, oh yes, please. Oh. Uh, duh, duh. Thank you. That is all right, my friend. Oh, good. Move? Um, no, but I might just tell him, there's a girl in the room behind us. We need to make sure that there aren't any more around. And if we can get them home, that would be great. Uh, drop the <laughs> hand, really I guess. <laughs> okay. I need the hand. <laughs> I need it to open the doors. So while you're having that conversation, Sana is the only one who sees uh, Demos like, turns to the, other, to the other guard and is like, have you finished? And he's like, yes, sir. Should be ready. You should be able to retrieve the device now. I'll, do I'll slow them down. And then he turns. Five, ten, fifteen. Oh! Five. Five. Multi attack against uh, Senna. That uh, is going to be a. She's going to be. Twelve to hit the first one. No. Second this one hits. is a. Do, 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 uh, Seventeen. Yep. That is eight points. Oh. She's out. She's unconscious. She gone. So with the final whack with the staff, you watch as Senna just slumps down to the ground. Um, does she have to make an injury check, Mark? Yes, she does. Uh, can you roll a constitution saving throw for me, Kate, <laughs> for her? I'm going to punch you. She passed. Yeah, she 18. passes. Uh, Nova, back up to the top. I don't hate being that guy. <laughs> you are always that guy, though. I mean, you killed Galen. I didn't kill Galen. I didn't kill Galen. Dash is an action, right, yeah. but can I take it? For you guys, yes. It's yeah. an action, though, for you. For other characters, it's a bonus action, like rogues, monks. Santa has a special <laughs> ability as well. She like basically just... has monk abilities. Can I start coming forward? Sure. 30 foot. So you move 10 foot back, so it's 20 feet from the edge of the board, I believe. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, so three, four three. squares from the edge. Okay. Two, three, four. Yep. You're at the dead. Oh, so in line um, with everyone else. Can I drink a potion of healing, please? Yes. Regular? Uh, it just says potion of healing. Then it is a regular. So regular. You get ha, uh, six, eight hit points back. Thank you. Mark that off. Glug, glug, glug. Glug. You suck it down. Tasty. Okay. That's it for me. That's your action and then move, yeah. Mm -hmm. That's it. Uh, his go. 1, 10, 15, 20. When did I drink my potion of heat? So, those of you see him reappear in front of this crystal containment and he reaches up, he's like, Night Frost, come to me. And the bow 
turns into a solid form of mist, coalesces around him into a cloak, and then he turns back on the rest of you. Uh, what? Um, no. And then he will begin moving forward again. So he went 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, oh. 30. And you can see this cloak is half made of shadow. It's almost like a big cowl. It kind of covers up half of his face, like a kind of big sort of like scarf neck, and then a long trail of shadow, leaving this misty ice kind of trailing off of it. <laughs> oh no, I don't like that laugh. That, um, wasn't, that wasn't that guy, that was Mark laughing. I still don't like that Lucius. <laughs> He's going to run right up next to Sentry, throwing an acid splash, which is 60 feet. I've already measured it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> on the, <laughs> the guard? Yep. Um, so that's that one. Do I saving throw or do you make an attack roll? It is deck saving throw, please, versus a... Oh, it was on a one and then it just tipped over. That's a 14. <laughs> Miss. 13, yeah. Yeah, so he uses the staff to knock the acid splash out of the air. Dichromancy. Oh, it's a cantrip, doesn't count. Remember, it's got the yeah, first level right. spell or higher. Um, Santa is unconscious. Can you make a death saving throw for Santa, please? Success. Well, success. I'll, I'll do the, I'll track yeah. these. Quill. Awesome. Uh, I have the range for a sacred flame, so I'm going to do that. Yep. Um, he makes a deck save. Uh, tw uh, 11. Yep, that's a fail. That's a nice. fail. That's a fail. Three damage. Three points. Whoa. Yeah, watch out, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> so you watch, uh, does Sacred Flame do a thing? I can't remember if it gives people an attack. Oh, advantage. yeah. Um, it's radiant damage. Mm -hmm. um, oh, no, bolt, it's just... It? It's just... Hmm? It's fading bolt you're thinking of. Oh, is it? Yeah, it might be then, yeah. It might be that one thing. It has no okay. benefit. So you just launch out this uh, fiery white flame, poof, kind of erupts, engulfs him. You can see him hold his hands up, but doesn't seem too perturbed. Sentry. Mm, I'm going to have to heal myself. Okay. Uh, I'm going to cast Cure Wounds, please. Yep, on yourself? Yes, please. So last spell slot, D8 plus Charisma modifier. Uh, six. Six hit points back. Dankeschön. What's your action? Would you like to move? I'm going to keep um, this defensive line. I'm going to keep defensive, yeah. Okay. Just ready for shield. <laughs> I mean, I'm ready a very for just dying. <laughs> in this defensive line. The guard will move up and it's just like, no wonder. I'm trying to think what you would say. It's just as Lord Starbane says. You people don't have any honor. Your friend is dying. Have you no guts to try and save her? And he stands there. He doesn't go to harm her, but he's standing there by Santa's body. Um, Lucia, uh, Nova, sorry. Would she have heard uh, Deimos say the name of the bow? I think, yeah, it would have echoed down the corridor. You hear him say, Night Frost, come to me. Can I shout out? Night I'm... Frost, Tiangong needs you. You hear, all of you in your heads, you hear a uh, Tiangong, one of the, one of the greats, but can't, bound, bound, bound to this one. Make me do terrible things, but Controls me, controls everything. Stop being such dark powers. Rebel! <laughs> and can I. Um... Deimos is just like, really, Aganassi? Did you think it would be so easy? I spent weeks studying the Eterna. Now it is mine to command. You've always got to try. Uh, can I. Eternal. Can I frostbite this one? If it's in range and We're 60 everything foot. else? Yep. Yeah, it will be. Was it saving throw? Uh, constitution saving throw. Yeah, I can't say it helping against this. Uh, that is, however, a 19 I rolled. So you try and reach out with Tiangon's power and summon this ice from the ground, um, but the guy quickly leaps to the side, uh, just barely avoiding it. That's it. So he comes and stands next to his friend. Uh, <sighs> I will give you one chance. I trust that you are the ones traveling with the other girl, the one that I have dispatched forces to reclaim. I might let you live if you'd be willing to give her to me. That way we can end so much of this. And then he will... Yeah, he loads one last... He pulls out his gun. He will load in another runic-looking bullet. And... He looks at the Aganassi, he looks at Nova. Like you said, you have to try. 
Uh, as this bullet flies out, it takes on the form of like, kind of crackling purple and black energy. I need Nova to make a wisdom saving throw for me, please. Oh shit. How wise are you? Not very. 20! <laughs> wow, really? Nice. Oh man. Cool. So you're gonna take half zero. damage. So that is going to be nine, half down to... Um, rounding up a bit. I'm gonna, I'll round down, because I try and always four. round down. So four psychic damage. Okay. Um, as you kind of resist it, and you feel Tian Gong, like, le you can almost feel this thing invading your mind, trying to bring about these horrors of your past, and you feel this kind of, this energy from the dagger flow up and divide some of it away, like, almost like it's stripping mm. the power away from you, uh, protecting your mind. Um, Rolled on our brand new gemstone dice. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Guaranteed Lucius. 90. Can I, yes, with a difficulty, uh, cast Lightning Lure, but attack specifically his gun to pull it? Yes, make the roll with disadvantage. Can I roll it with advantage? No. <laughs> I tried. <laughs> you should always try. <laughs> should always try. Oh, fuck is a natural one. <laughs> yeah, it's really difficult because it's a small object. He's holding it and obviously he's protecting it as well. So um, you try and lasso the, the lure. Yeah, also you're out of range. Oh, yeah, that as well. <laughs> Am I? Yeah, it's 15 feet. <laughs> Can I wreck on that? You could move forward so you're in range of 15 feet. Yeah, for sure. Can I wreck on that? You've rolled the dice, Chris Trot. <laughs> mm. Can we just say that's why it failed rather than Lucius moving forward? Because he has to get really close to do that. Chris Trot, what would you like I'm to committing do? to it, so... Uh, yes. Yeah. He, he, sounds he, right. He moved forward, did lightning lure. Chris Trot, have advantage. Uh, inspiration. For being such a good player. Thanks. I... I <laughs> feel, he, he could have been like, yeah, no, I'm going to stay where I am and miss it. Fine. You're not the golden boy anymore, But he's time. accepted it. <laughs> he's accepted his fate. Fine. So Lucius moves forward. Give that trying, to me. Whoosh, and yeah. It like uh, wrenches please? it out of the way. <laughs> Santa, death saving throw, please. Sorry, Katie. You're out until they get you fail. up. That's a fail. Quill. Yeah, I mean, um, I'm just gonna stay behind Sentry <laughs> the entire time. At least um, one of you has some bravery. Ow. I pierced myself. <laughs> <laughs> but you don't see it. If you're willing to surrender, life. High Elf, I'll let you live. I don't wish to kill any of you if I can help it. It's not my turn, so I can't reply. <laughs> you can reply. I killed Galen, I killed Sana. <laughs> good episode for NPCs. Yeah, holy crap. Might not be a good episode for PCs. <laughs> yeah. What are you doing, Quill? It's your turn. How do you know Vala is the one you're looking for? Her name is Vala. Interesting. No. What? I mean, did he not say that? No. no. I knew that you were traveling with a girl. No, oh, it's I fine. don't. The fact is, Arakoka, <laughs> I don't know. But I need to find out, and I need her for that. Uh, would you like to do anything? I'll still let you have an action. Oh, Sacred Flame. The That's guard what? again. The guard? Yeah, just deck save. 17 plus yeah, 1. Yeah, it passes. 18. That's not good. <laughs> Sentry! All right. I'm going to move up all the way up. Can you move up? So 30, 30 feet. 30 feet. So let's, let's go. Try. 5, 10, 15, 20, 20 25, 30. 30. So you're going for the main guy. I'm going for the main guy and I'm going to, yeah, just smack him with my axe. So. But I'm going to use Driven to Purpose and add 1d4 to that attack as well. Oh, look at this. Whoa. Love it. Yeah. Roll it. Right, these girls need to go home. So you get a d4 as well. D4. Might as well roll that at the same time. Yeah. Uh, nope, that's d8. That oh, yeah. Whoops. Oh, yeah. Triangle. 15, 18. Plus your attack bonus. Wow. Plus my attack bonus. Easily hits and there's no way he can defend uh, against it. Da, 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 da. Where are we? Da, 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 da. Uh, da, 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 da. 6, 18, 19, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 24. Hits easily. <laughs> nice! So battle axe. Battle axe, 1d8 plus 4. Uh, so that's the, yep. That one. Ah, oh, 6. 6 points. Uh, you slam the axe into him and he has to throw his hands up um, as he staggers back. Um, as you now are in his face with the shield of Solven raised up, you smash him into the side, uh, and he's thrown off guard, not quite expecting a full charge. And now you're up in his face. Um, uh, cool. So sentry bursts forward. Oh. Uh, the guard turns on, is like, Sir, Demos, sir! And like lays into you with two attacks. Uh, reaction. 
Yes. Awesome reaction. Protect, please. Sure. Oh, okay. Well, you can only use that on other people. Okay. You can protect other people, okay, not, not yourself. Myself. Okay. Yes, unfortunately. All right. It's the tank ability. Uh, cool. Well, one is a nine, and then the other is a 19. 19 hits. 19 hits. So you're going to take uh, eight bludgeoning damage as the Bring cracks it. against you. That's fine. Um, as that does that. Lush, uh, Nova, sorry. Uh, just checking one thing. Um... Yeah, can I go up and attack the gu uh, guard with yep. um, Tiangong and with Green Flame Blade? So you move up <laughs> next to Sentry. Yeah. So you charge in next to Sentry, the little knife in your hand, Naruto run. No! No, Naruto run. No! <laughs> no! <laughs> I will leave this table right now, sir! <laughs> Would you like run up like this? Yes. Like a cool, cooler run? Yes. Thank like you. Like a cooler run. <laughs> Naruto Run is well cool. Um, <laughs> no. 16 to hit. 16 does just hit, yeah. Yes! Um, and this is with Green Flame Blade? Yes, so okay. um, Deimos will take four Yeah, so he takes four automatically. Four. One, uh, six points of damage to, to the other one. Um, the guard. Okay, so you do like a, a small cut in, like just tearing through a bit of his armor, but then the Green Flame leaps over to Deimos who has to raise up his hand and you can now see he's beginning to accumulate wounds like his arm is quite badly burnt and you can see he's kind of a little bit winded um, but the other one the other guard seems pretty fresh um, okay uh, on his go on Deimos's turn he does a couple of things he drops his pistol um, and then he flexes and the, from the braces two long claws on each hand kind of oh, he's Wolverine oh. oh they're on the braces they're not in his hands <laughs> he's oh, Bracery <laughs> look at the miniature he's got little claws on it he does actually he's Baraka that's what it is. Yeah. So these little claws Obama? thing, and then also you hear him kind of whisper something. He's like, Night Frost, protect me. And his form becomes blurry and indistinguishable um, as the shadows cling to him. Oh, but that is his full action to do that. Um, so now it's Lucius. Me again. Well, everybody else is attacked, so I think our bargaining is done. So I think. Lucius is going to cast Twin with his final spell slot, mm -hmm. Chromatic Orb. Mm -hmm. and he's so it's against both of them? Yes. He's okay. going to use Cold Damage. Cold Damage, okay. So 3d8. So if attack rolls to hit, yeah. Attack roll. So you need to roll for each target as well. So this will be for Deimos. 19 Ooh. plus 5, Hits. 24. And for the guard. Six plus five is uh, eleven. Eleven doesn't hit the guard, but does hit Deimos. Three d eight, two, five, nine. So, um, so the cloak seems to absorb some of the cold. Like when you were debating which one to pick, you said cold. I was like, okay. <laughs> he seems resistant to it. Um, it absorbs some of it, but you can see now, like even though the, the the cloak kind of absorbs it, you can see his breathing is becoming heavier and heavier. He's like, ah. Now my dichromancy. You do that get the first level. Yes, that is a I first do that level. On the guard, please. On the guard, and that's uh, four, because it was first level, yes. Okay, so yeah, he kind of gets hit by some of the cold damage uh, that you siphon off um, and pull it into the guard himself. After Lucius, Santa's death saving throw, please. Natural 20! Oh, Nat, she's up. on one hit Woo! point. You're on one hit oh, point. Jesus. So you kind of like flicker into <laughs> life from down below, but that's at the end of your turn. Quill. Uh, I'm going to move up. And basically do what Lucius did and lightning lure. Um, but his gun is on the ground. He dropped yeah, he dropped it. it. Yeah, it's dead to him. He doesn't have a gun. So it doesn't even have ammo. Either. No, he's got claws now. Yeah. Well, he, you can see that he was pulling the ammo from like a belt pouch, uh, and there's one bullet left on that. And they react to impact. Um, so from what you've observed, uh, there's one which he's fired at, he, there's two that he fired at people, but the web one he just aimed at a point. But I mean the bullets themselves, just if you impact them... Seems, well, you're not sure how it works. There might be some sort of sorcery involved, it might be an explosive. I mean to generate the effects of a spell, you imagine it's not like an explosive that you just... I, I mean I don't, uh, I, just to make the bullet... You don't Blow know. up. Make an arcana check for me, that would be very quill. Cool making, like, reasoning it. Oh, natural, natural 20. 20! Okay, so... <laughs> I looking, invented them. Looking at what these are, you didn't invent them. This isn't Rogue's Gambit, but you didn't invent it. You know that these are called spell shots, 
They're very, very hard to make. They're quite rare, quite expensive. Okay. And it is the, basically, they inscribe, it's like inscribing a scroll, but it's engraved onto a bullet. Oh. They are collected, and the more powerful they are, the rarer and more expensive they are. Mm. Um, so the fact that he's had quite a few means that he obviously is quite wealthy or has good funding. Mm -hmm. um, and normally they are, the actual gun used to fire them is known as an arcane shot. Um, and oh. the gun itself is used to basically conjure the energy which fires it. You can't just detonate it. I it see. has to be fired from the gun. In that case, I mean, having known that, I will be lightning luring his arm and then... Trying to yank him. Yeah. Sure. So, uh, strength saving throw? Strength saving. Into sentry. <laughs> so that is a 14. Damn it! So you kind of wrap it around his arm and then he breaks it with the claws, like, she breaks the lure. Uh, yep, that's, I'm done. Cool. Sentry. Quick question. Ben. Yes. Um, <laughs> my bonus action is two weapon fighting. Well, I have, two, I have two weapon fighting as a bonus action. Right, okay, so you want to use your shield. I'll use my shield and yeah, my a, axe. So yeah, as a bonus action, I will let you use your shield. Nice. Um, we'll figure out some stats for it and stuff like that. But yeah, you can use it as a shield. Cool. Yeah, for sure. can I, yeah, can I, can I then smack him with my So axe yeah, it would be the attack shield. first and then the shield. Yeah. So it's your bonus action to make the offhand attack though. Yeah, but can I like aim it at his, at his arms, try and... Yeah, if you want to try and make a called shot, it's generally yeah. with disadvantage, mm -hmm. um, but it will have additional effects if you hit and if you deal a certain amount of damage. I would like to aim for his arms, please. Okay, so yeah, with the axe, so it's disadvantage, cool. um, but you roll with your battle axe first. Okay, so D20 plus D20. your attack roll, uh, attack bonus for your battle axe. Okay, dokie. So five. Roll with the uh, twice to see if you get any lower, because it is with disadvantage. And you see, so it'll be the five, so it'll yep. be the 11. 11. It's not enough. He manages to kind of like, like launch out the way, kind of throw himself to the side. Um, cool. But now you can make it as a second action with the shield. I've um, got unarmed strikes. So it could be maybe. It's kind of an unarmed strike. Yeah? Yes, yeah. It would be an unarmed strike, I think. Because right, so the shield itself isn't fully prepped for that. 10 and 8. So 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So now, again, with, you can try and bash him with a shield. You rolled disadvantage on that one. I don't she think. did. Yeah. So but was that one meant to be disadvantaged? Both yes. Are, yeah. Because yeah. oh. she's aiming with both of them both for the arms. Both shots. Oh, um, shield. Okay. So with the shield, you try and again catch his arms, but this guy's really quick, and he kind of like locks the shield up with both of his claws and throws it to the side, <sighs> throwing off your your blows. Cool. Um, and then from the side, Nova, the one the guard is now going to try and attack you with both of his staff attacks. Uh, that is going to be. Um, unless Sentry protection, wants to use please. protection against one of them. Yeah. So, uh, okay, so uh, one is a 21, the other one, which is the one with the protection, ended up being a three plus six, a nine. So one. Can I not have the protect on the first well, one? Well, no, I, the first one was a six, was a 15, and then I re rolled okay. it to a three. Okay. So it would either be a 20 or a 21 to hit. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So one hits, uh, which is going to be. 10 points of damage, bludgeoning damage as the staff cracks down onto your form. Um, the second one, Sentry manages to launch, mm. lock her shield into place. Your go, Nova. Start bleeding profusely from everything. Uh, I would like to... I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to attack with Tiangong and Green Flame Blade. Mm -hmm. uh, so you Davis. attack the guard and then Green Flame Blade onto the other yeah. guy. 19 plus 7. Hits. I need to get me some of those gemstone dice. What was that, Tom? Gemstone What's dice? What's the one? Right. The one. Is that the opalite or the blue sandstone? Uh, uh, she's using the blue sandstone ones right now, which right. are glittering very nicely, actually. Six. Very nice. Six points of damage to him. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the green flame blade, you swing the dagger once again, and it carves along the armor, wrenching some of it aside. The flame launches over Deimos, catches him on the face. He's like, ah, and it like burns away. Still staggering, at the end of your turn, he's going to use his combat action to attack you at the end of your turn. Um, and he's going to attack you, because you've just like launched onto his face. Yeah. And he attacks you with one of these claws. <laughs> that is for a... do, 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 17? Yeah, it hits. Uh, D4, <coughs> D4. Let's prepare. Yeah. How much damage? And he does have an ally within five feet of you. Yeah. I'm down. So that's going to be four. So you take six slashing plus two force, so eight. That's good. Yeah. And then you take another seven from the sneak attack, so oh, 15 ooh. total. So you watch as Nova is like thrown to the ground as this claw kind of like into her stomach and then rips it out. Um, at the end of Nova's go, it's then his go because he did that at the end of Nova's go with his legendary action. Injury check. Constitution saving throw, please, Kim. <laughs> I'm sorry. You're a good boy. You're a good boy. 
I get caught up in the Seven. description. It's part of the game, you can't hate me. <laughs> you sunk down in this chair. You can't hate me if you get injured, because I reminded you. I haven't said anything. Are you I'm glaring just smiling. at me? I'm, no, I'm smiling at you. Give me a smile. An 18 cuts and bruises. So it cuts oh. you badly, but nothing lingering. I don't know, I'm unconscious. Yeah, you're unconscious. <laughs> with and then stat. Sentry, he turns on you with these two claws to try and tear you apart as well. Two attacks. That's going to be a 17 and then a 9. Nope. Ooh, the, brown, the, brown. the armor and the shield just yeah. getting in the way and um, prevents him from getting an attack yeah. in. Damn, what's your AC? My is it? Oh, it is 18. Would 18 have hit? No, I got a 17. Oh, 17. Oh. Yeah, it was a 17. Yeah, no, yeah. Um, I rolled a 17. Uh, do, 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 do. Sana, you're on one hit point. Um, okay. They think you're dead. Can I surprise this guy then Absolutely, by like you're kicking it up. Yep, you'll like, have advantage. You take him by kicks. surprise. Yep, so all, all three attacks will have advantage. Leg day. Nice. <laughs> so I kind of imagine it like, you know when breakdancers do that spin to get back on their Capoeira. feet? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Every very, day very is Capoeira. leg day. The 20. Hits. Uh, 19. Hits. And uh, 19. 19. Hits. Nice. All three hit. Kick them into the ceiling and then just kick them further into it, <laughs> up another floor. <laughs> 8, 9, 10, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Oh, nice. 24 damage again. Whoa. Nice. You obliterate him. Tight. Yes! So you watch as this form, like, Ooh. her eyes just snap open. Wham, 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 like a whirlwind. The legs kind of spinning around these armoured rabbit, half rabbit feet. Smack, smack, smack. And then she pulls herself up into a standing position. Um, as the, the finished thing, so she kind of lands, breathing hard. Um, her ears kind of drooped slightly down over her head. <laughs> yeah. uh, you see Santa standing there. Oh, Quill. Uh, uh, I mean... When I fall, by the way, can I fall in a way that I'm almost sheltering Tian Gong? Yeah. So it's like... I'd, yeah, you're like, you bring him in. Like, yeah. you protected him first. Yeah. yeah you, and you're clutching him still, even yeah. in death. Or semi-death. I'm crying for my dead cold hands. <laughs> um, Don't say I... that! <laughs> I'm just gonna do Sacred Flame. Okay. Uh, and that's a dexterity save. Ha! That is on Deimos. That is a 13. Well, I mean, the save is 13, so is that a pass or fail? I believe that's a pass. Drat. You launch the flames out, um, and he just manages to raise up his claws, like, disperses the flame in front of him. He would have taken one damage. It would have taken Damn one damage. Sentry. Mm -hmm. Nova is down next to you, but this guy is like, he's like, so be it. Fitting that I would end next to a guardian. Perhaps we would have fought together if I'd been alive that so long ago. Oh, <laughs> I want to fight him so bad. What do you want to do? Uh, do you cuts and bruises appear on Nova's face. Yeah. yeah do, do you want to save Nova or do you fight this guy? Oh, he's only going to attack more, mm. surely. What does he look like? Mm -hmm. He How looks bad, like, yeah, he's like barred. big burns on his face, he's heavy breathing. You can see that there are multiple kind of like, you know, nicks in his armor and things like that. <sighs> I'm going to, I'm going to smack him in the face. Okay. Good girl. Yeah. Let's see if you hit. 19. Hits. Nine damage. Okay. You get the axe, you swing it into him, he goes to catch it, but the axe breaks, like, kind of Ooh. breaks through his guard. Not the claws themselves, oh, but his guard. Claws. You don't, I'm, you, do you really want him to break the claws? I'm guessing you might want to keep those. Uh, as you kind of break through, it catches him in the chest. He lurches back, kind of looks down at it, it's like... <laughs> Finally, <clears throat> at least, and he kind of grabs it and kind of leans you in. He's just like, <clears throat> you won't be able to stop him coming a second time, Guardian. And he is oh. coming. <clears throat> <sighs> Ooh, she! And he collapses. Oh boy. As he does, the thing around his neck, the cloak, shifts, warps and then changes back into a bow that just doo, 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 lands on the ground. Um, you can see that the ship, the green light that's been pulsing up and down, is becoming a bit more erratic. Um, we're out of initiative. Uh, oh, no, we're not, because no, Nova no. is still down. In fact, I believe, Nova, it's time for a death saving throw. Is it? It's Nova's turn. 
Sentry goes at the very end. Oh. But it's, I'm, yeah. 12. Success. Uh, so it would go I believe to that's the first time Lucius. I've rolled a success. I'll go up yeah, and try and medicine. Medicine how do check. I, how do I roll? Just remember one. Just tap it. It's about to come back, tap I think. It nicely. Tap it nicely. Right, well, Luce, just make the medicine check. Let's save Kim this hassle if you succeed. You can remember one success. <laughs> one. Uh, medicine is just a plus one. Nine. You're like, ah, someone help me with Nova. There's Quick. blood like pouring out of her stomach. She's been stabbed in the chest. She's got cuts and bruises everywhere. Not sure what to do. <laughs> There's bruises everywhere. He's dead. Much Please worse. help. Well, actually, he's a pretty big NPC. Let's make some, so let's make some checks here. Nah. So, <laughs> that would be, uh, yeah, that would be enough for that. Okay. Can uh, he roll a constitution saving Santa. throw and make an injury table I check? Did. He did. Thank did. you. Can I have inspiration? Santa's going, no. <laughs> Can I, I try a medicine check? Sure, medicine. Straight medicine, so wisdom. 18. Okay, so you kind of back Lucius out, Santa backs Lucius out of the way, um, and being a skilled bounty hunter, she knows how to tend to you know injuries and begins bandaging Nova. You're alive. Up. Nova is stabilized. Yeah, just I'm right. stabilized. <laughs> okay. Um, okay. Nice. Yeah, you stabilize Nova. Didn't kill Nova. Santa. Fuck yeah. yeah. Yeah, just about that fucking that twenty. <laughs> Look, I didn't <laughs> kill Galen. <laughs> I don't know what I was meant so to do. I had like I... six health. So, at this <laughs> point, I, this I like Santa. She's fun. She does a lot of damage. Uh, She's very cool. cool. Um, what Stable would you like to do? One HP. So, so I'm on one HP. Okay. No, 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 you're not. You're, you're no, on zero. I'm still, I'm still unconscious. Yes. But not so bleeding. you're clutching this. Uh, you're clutching Tiangong, but you're not dying. What um, would everyone like to do? Sentry, did you say that the girls are in, on the ship? There's at least one girl. You in can. The room you you be Santa. Okay, We're not in yeah, combat. But yeah, okay, you be Santa. So, right. Um, so yeah, Santa is like. You mentioned that there was a girl. There's a girl. Yeah, in the room just up the corridor. All right, I'm gonna go see if that's a star. And she kind of like limps over. Um, um, towards there. I'll go up to Nova, but say like, I, I'm totally out of power, I can't heal her. Um, she'll be fine eventually, but we have to get out of the ship for this first. I'll go to Sentry. Is it? Is it true what he said? So it's coming back? I mean, I just hope he was trying to scare us off. Um... I don't think he'll scare us when he's dying. Let me... I'm gonna go check his body. Okay. I'm gonna loot the shit out of me. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, Lucius, Clark. you go over. There's got to be something here. Um, there's a couple of things. So you find that he has one of these ruined bullets still. You can put down spell shot, or somebody can write this down if you want. I can't. Ooh, I'm um, not sure. His pistol is on upgrade. the ground, as well. I his arcane pistol. Cool can upgrade. <laughs> he also has his clawed braces. Mm -hmm. He also has a pouch which contains... Is it an ice mind slick web shot? On the... It is a slick shot. Yes. Yeah. Have you found that on D&D Beyond, have you? Mm -hmm. um, mm. Slick shot is the one he had the remaining. <laughs> um, and also you can search for force claws, I believe. Force claws? They might be on there, I'm not sure if I added them. Mm -hmm. um, they are. There is also about 15 platinum pieces and 100 Ooh. gold pieces in Ooh. a pouch. <sighs> the boys writing this down? I'm putting it on my... D&D Beyond. Good boy. So Lucius is putting it all in his satchel, basically, in his bag. Um, Thank Frost! You also see, yeah, the bow laying on the ground, and as you kind of look at it, you begin hearing this kind of like, dead, gone, lifeless, yes, yes, bond, broken, possibly free, life forms, life forms, please, take me, get me out, must leave, place, been here so long, alone, dark and cold, please. Uh. Uh, I mean, Please. He, he wants to bond Help. with the bow. You're then, unconscious. Uh, this is literally killing him. This is killing her. I can. I can. I think I should. <laughs> so, what do you, so sentry. You probably should. I'm, I'm going to lay, lay on hands, Kim. Okay, so Nova. sentry moves up and places your hands on Nova, and you flow your oh, divine energy in, or your energy from your mm. core. Um, and Nova, like Nova, you feel yourself like begin this. fluttering awake. <laughs> Obviously, you didn't hear the rest. Gold was it? Uh, uh, it was 15 platinum and 100 10. gold. 10. Yeah. Thank you. It's all right. Uh, Nova, you'll know what best to do. Hold on, I am waking up. Thing. Give me a second. Please. I killed, killed them. Killed four of them. <laughs> okay. What happened? Need to uh, leave. Dark. We got rid of the guys. Sunday. The bow is on the floor Tiangong. talking to us. Tiangong! He's still here. It's okay. I saw a light. Did you? It's better than darkness, I guess. 
Sana kind of comes out and she's holding, like she's physically kind of like carrying this like other girl who's just kind of like clinging on to her. Just tell me when you guys are ready to go. Uh, we should probably check the other rooms first, just see if there's any more, but uh, 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 Nova, the bow, it's talking I've to I've already us. like locked eyes on it and I'm like, did you? Did you? You stopped him? Yeah, we did. I mean, he's... He's dead. there. Dead. Life ended. I'm just going to start crawling towards it. Yeah, yeah be crawling. careful, Nova. You're very weak. And start this crawling could be powerful. I'm just not even hearing you, because I'm just like tunnel vision I'm on this boat. Try to tugging on a cloak or something. Yeah, you can... But like, not over. really like trying. Yeah, you no, just, just, just pulls free. Um, I've got a hand out. You reach out and you grab it. Like, yeah, um, I'll just... Yeah. Yeah? Don't worry. I've got be... you. Okay. Yes. Yes, Tian Gong's ally. Yes, bring me. Leave. Must leave this place now. Must go. Been here so long, so long, alone, cold and dark. Until they came, they made me kill them. They made me. Was so hungry. Are we all, are we all hearing that? Yeah, one? everybody hears this. This isn't just localized. This is like it's being projected in a, a radius around it. Was that when you say they? Do you mean the girls? Four girls. Yes. Yes. Drained them. Drained them instilled them with magic that they could not control, but but was not my fault. He made me, but I was the one that did it. Was meant to protect. This this thing it has sentience, right? It sounds traumatized. I'm worried that if you bond with this thing, that trauma could come through. I'm not leaving it here. No, it just no, do not leave me. Do not leave don't, me again. Don't touch it just yet until we Get our heads around it. So also. long, five hundred years nearly. I'm gonna wrap my scarf the, okay. um, around it okay. and take it. Yeah, and you pick like, it up. Yeah. Hey, you can search for something called night frost bow form. Okay. Bow form. Mm -hmm. Bow form. Uh, you, however, and this is Kim, I'm telling, cannot attune to it. Because I've already got Tian Gong. There is more to it than just that, but yes, you cannot use this item. Right, um, but you pick it up and yeah, you can begin making your way. I have a question for it. Sure. Uh, <laughs> does anybody, do you guys want to explore anywhere else? We'll definitely explore these two rooms. Yeah. Side. Okay, again. which ones do you open? Did you go pick up a hand? Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I, unless you've already still I've got always it. always got the hand. Sentry's <laughs> holding Using his it hand. to defend. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, I guess. Okay. Like <laughs> this little dead hand is like, Wee! <laughs> Which one? This one? Yeah. Okay. This one appears to be empty. Um, no, in fact, actually, this would be Deimos' room. So, in here, you see a... A load of posters. <laughs> boy bands. <Or> Starbane. <laughs> Why do you have to ruin my cool D&D &D campaign? Why do you hate me? Uninspiration for you. Uninspiration. No, this one appears to be... Uh, yes, it has been turned into sort of a bunk. There is a basic desk. A camp bed which has been raised up off the ground like a kind of like folded out bed. Um, there is a small metal lock box. Mm. Um, mm. And that is about it. Ooh. Metal lock box. Um, could I... I shouldn't have read that. Does he have a key? Have a little look in this room because I know saw the guard. Yeah, you can, you can move in there, yeah. So this appears to be a large chamber. You can see the gangways above all lead up to the, the central containment unit which seemed to have housed the bow before Deimos called it to his hand. Okay. Um, you can see that there are pipes that kind of feed into the ground and into other parts of the crystalline ship and you, Quill, with your passive perception become aware that there is a, a, a growingly erratic pulse like a like a, a, a rhythmic beating which is becoming more and more erratic and rapid. Okay. Rapid. Uh, uh, and what was What's this box? Because that's it's, where it's a control. It, it looks more like a control panel, um, and you can see that there are all sorts of strange crystals and writing. Do you speak draconic? No. Then it's gibberish. You don't really understand it. Okay. Can I go and look? You are currently looking at the bow in your sky. Oh, yeah, thank you. I don't think you said you were going in there, and what? you don't know what language it's that's written. That's fine. In. Um, there's a, a, a pulsing. I think now the bow is gone. It's not powering the ship. I guess. Um, oh, that's probably bad. We should probably How leave. Bad? Yeah. Like, explosion bad or, or...? Well, I don't know if this ship is on the bottom of the river, the lake, or underneath the... Um... We could get flooded. N Night Frost? Yes. Yes. Here. What? That is me. Night Frost. Are we sinking? Am I the ship? Or am I me? I don't know anymore. Can you power the ship? Yes. 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 Ship. 
crystalline ship, Starbane, fueled, fueled by my power. Can you move this me ship? For so long. No, no, no. Far too weak. Ship is degraded over time, systems irreversibly damaged, cannot Can fly. You and Tian Gong together? That is, no, no, you misunderstand. Misunderstand, elf of the sky. No, 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 you, mm. you uh, do not know. Okay, well, now the ship is not powered. What does that mean? Containment fields likely collapsing, fading, water getting inside, uh, ship power is fluctuating, okay. star essence becomes unstable. Okay. Okay, um, do you know how long we have? Not long. Not long. Do we need to check this last room? How uh, many more girls are there? Really quickly. There are no more. Open that There is one. only the one that the child of Artelicus carries. Sentries, throw the hand at the button. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it actually hits. <laughs> it just hits it long enough. Um, slides down because it's slightly angled. So as you open up this one, um, I don't have it with me. There is, you see a floating construct like one that attacked you with alongside one of the guards. One of these floating um, metal spheres with a purple eye is just floating in the room. Can we shut the door? The hand is on the floor by the console. Uh, it just floats there. How about we just run? Let's just go. Um, Have we got everything we need? Yes. Good. Our lives. Sentry, grab everything? Yeah, good to go. Uh, Sana, can I grab have you got the girl? Can I pick up the little metal just box? It. What metal the box? The little box in uh, the box. Yeah, machine. you grab, yeah. The, grab, grab the lock, lock box. box. Okay. Nice. Yep. You're going to run out. Let's go. As you begin running, uh, the, the beating and the pulsing becomes more and more erratic, and pipes, um, parts of the crystalline wall begin to split and this viscous black and green fluid begins flowing in and it begins writhing and taking shapes, um, kind of reaching out as you run past it, its caustic uh, presence kind of burning through things as it kind of kind of reaches out to try and grab you. You leap to the side as you continue running. Other parts of the ship begin cracking and water gushes of it begin flowing down oh, into the hallways itself okay. as you begin fleeing through it. You turn the corner, um, making your way back the way you came. When you arrive to the guard post, the bit where you first entered <coughs> into the tunnels, the three girls are no longer there. And the oh, tunnels lead back see. up to the uh, village. Yeah. The three village girls, the yeah, tiefling yeah. elf and the human Stupid girl that you've left girls. tied up there. They're um, gone. The ropes are just discarded on the ground. That's a future us problem. Mm -hmm. Current problem is flooding. Let's uh, keep moving. Yep, so you, you just escape through the tunnel. Okay. Yeah. So I think it's probably about halfway down the tunnel when you see a figure moving towards you. Um, and in the kind of dark light, you can't see she's some sort of lantern. But as you draw closer, you see Ayla kind of walking down with a hammer and a lantern, just following this underground tunnel. So you'd gone to the, the general store, found this trapdoor at the back, made your way down, found the tunnel, the boarded up tunnel in there. Oh, hey, it's Ayla, turn around. Abort, 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 run, abort run, we need to go, run. run. You can see, so as, you're, as you're coming up to them, you can see following behind them is this kind of mixture of water and ooze as it's coming Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, let's go, let's go. <laughs> You turn around and as you begin fleeing, however, it's probably only a few more sort of like 100, 200 more feet before the, the liquid kind of finally rests and not enough volume of it to really pursue the whole way down the tunnel yeah. um, as it kind of just rests. But it feels from like the tunnel before you, it kind of dips down lower um, and the viscous material begins to almost begin to solidify. This kind of water and ooze mixture <laughs> begins solidifying and cracking the earth around it. Um, that was close. That was very close. You guys look like shit. Yeah. Yes, we've been through it. Yeah. Um, you don't know the half of it. And I like Santa Arvo like, looks like shit too. It's fine. I'll explain everything though. Right. No offense, Arvo. No Who? offense. Who are you talking to? Arvo. Arvo's with him. Arvo oh yeah, Arvo's, Arvo's with him. Arvo's Arvo's with Arvo's, us. Arvo does look a bit shit. He looks a bit better. He's just like, we've had a bit of a night. Uh, did I, you... I imagine I'm just covered in blood <laughs> yeah. and bruises and cuts. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Many of them. <laughs> did you did you see the girls as you were coming down here? Oh, we didn't which, see anybody. The shopkeeper. Depends which girls. We've seen a few girls tonight, but the that is shopkeeper yeah. girls. No. From Acorn Vale. No. no. They've escaped. But oh, we, good. we've dealt with the people in the ship. All right. You haven't had any shadow girls come after you, have you? 
Shadow girls. Okay, well that's mm. one thing well, off our minds. We have this one girl, and is it central? Does she visibly no, have uh, the Santa's holding? Santa's Does she have the shadows coming off of her though? So you look at her, the Ayla, you would recognize that she looks much. She looks alive, which is different to the other girls, but she has these very thin wisps of black shadow kind of curling around her arms and up her neck and things like that. Okay, so this one, three more of those. No, wait, how many more? Four more of those. Four. They looked worse. They looked way they, more... Yeah. You must have found her before something horrible happened to her because... Yes, I have. The other ones were... You hear this voice in your head. This whispered, dark voice. I happen. Okay. There's another thing. I did it. Now oh, that. Thing. It's the bow. Why? Why? It's, it's like Tiangong, but didn't want yeah. to. Far more evil. Oh, yeah. uh, good. I don't think this one's evil. It's more the user. It's hard to define. Either way, it's done bad things. Done terrible things. <clears throat> done terrible Sky things. off is correct. Sky off is correct. But it's not your fault. Yes. Yes, it is. It's not because you wanted to do it, though. It's because you were made to do it. Yes, but it was my okay. fault to be powerless to be made to do it. You are young and naive. You do not understand. You have not been alone and thought of these things as I have. I am an Eterna. I should not have taken this life. And you just hear this voice kind of go silent for a little bit. This is as you deep. Oh, that's Stand. terrifying, is it not? Yeah. You say you're an Eterna. What's, what's an Eterna, Nightfrost? What a question. A deep question. A question beyond mine. I am an Eterna. I, me, this being that I am. Your friend, she carries a fragment of one. A fragment of a friend of Tiangong. One of the greatest of my kind. But what you carry is a splinter, a branch of a great oak that was once mighty and sheltered us all. You carry his branch. You carry a splinter of him, of his greatness. Can I find more? Can I reunite him? Maybe, perhaps. I do not know. He was taken, taken by Callus as we all were. Deceived, lied to. Question, strange bow, person, thing, item. I am Night Frost. Hi. <laughs> Can you fix the girl? I cannot. Okay. What has been done is not something I can change. She has been infused with my power. She will carry this shadow magic with her for the rest of her life. But Deimos, for all of his evils, realized that what he was doing was killing the others. He stopped it. He knew that she was not the one he was looking for. Stopped her dying before I killed her. Hmm. Yeah, the other four that I was talking about, definitely dead now. Vala kind of leans forward. It's like, yeah, they, it was... She kind of looks at Sana, who's carrying uh, the girl, and she kind of gives you all a look of, there's probably something we should talk about before we go back to the, to the house. Um, Maybe. We should find somebody to look after her and tell them. Yes. I think Sana is a good. Sana like cocks her eyebrow, like looks down at you all. Um, uh, I, I think can we. take care of her. We need to get her some and healing. I think and we anyway. should. Sana, I think that we should have a talk. All right. Would you mind walking ahead with me? Sure. Uh, and you leave her? Yeah. Sentry should take yeah. her. All right, yeah, okay. okay. She's like, Estelle, this is Sentry. She's going to look after you, all right? She's like, okay. And she just kind of passes over to you. You kind of have to, like, Harry, one hand carrying this girl, the other hand carrying this lockbox. Yeah. Um, uh, Valor sticks around with you. You can see Arvel looks pretty wor worse for wear. He looks pretty beat up. He looks very sick. Um, but yeah, you kind of take Sana aside. What's going on? What happened? Galen didn't make it. Shit. Oh, are you serious? There was nothing anyone could have done. It no, was, yeah. It was a, a fatal wound. Damn. He fought bravely. All he wanted was to see her again. I know. Jeez. Um, all right. He protected Vala till the end. Good. Well, he was a brave man, but, uh, damn. Well, listen, she's got a, her mom is in uh, Katie, uh, Kaylee's rest. I can take her there. Um, it might be best to take her somewhere else until we can sort out the house. I think I, I think if I can get, if I can get an hour just to recover a little, I think I'm gonna try and take her back to the city as soon as I can. It'd probably be best. Yeah. I also- and No offense, but seeing what those guys were up to back there, Seeing that they're after this Vala girl, I think it might be safer for me and her to maybe move ahead of you guys at least. 
get to Kaylee's rest before you guys leave. Yes. I did keep the girls' bodies there just in case there was something that could be done. I don't know what magic right. this was, but yeah. if there's nothing that can be done, if that, I don't know. I'm talking to a bow. I yeah. don't have a clue. And I, I don't know anything about magic. I think me and you are in the yeah. same place. So... Um, listen, could you go ahead and maybe put Galen's body somewhere else? Like, put it somewhere that she We've already to... tried to take care of it a little bit, All but... Right. okay. We didn't have much time. I needed to see that you were yeah. okay. No, it's fine. Let's um, let's get that sorted and let's get some rest. I think everybody needs a little R and R, um, and I can try and break the news to the girl. All right, let's go. And she comes back and uh, yeah. So I say, what do you guys want to do? You guys want to head back and get a long rest at the lodge? I think so. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's just be wary of uh, the escapees. They could be watching us. The yeah, town the was girls. very very quiet when we left. Like, too quiet, kind of quiet. Okay. So I don't know. We haven't seen anyone who's come up. If there's more of these people that are worshipping Starbane's Return, these three are running Whoa, off. Whoa, Starbane's oh. Return, reverse yeah. there! Sorry, um, we what? probably should have dropped that a little bit more delicately. Um, Starbane's coming back. Yeah, there was, See? A, there was a guy can't in there. trust that! <laughs> can't trust the shit up there! According to the murmurings of a dying man, I think he was just trying to scare was us. Was it a dying man on a spaceship? Val was like, Because yeah, that might have there, merit. There's no way that... He must have just been trying to scare you, right? That's, yeah. There's, he can't get past the cradle. Siaska's protection protects us, right? Unless You'd, the cradle falls. Yeah, but they can't do that. I mean, she was a goddess. They taught us that in the church. Yusuf and Corin, like, I, I know that they were devout believers and they believe a lot of stuff, but... I mean, it's existed for years. There's no way, like the horror stories they told, there's no way that can happen again, right? But why are these people doing things again now? I know, they seem to want me. All this is, this is all. Do not say I know, what I, know. I think you're gonna say, Vala. Do I not do not, it. But I, I, you know I feel responsible somewhat, right? Like, that's not crazy. But you still shouldn't. I know, I know. Um, also, Lil Trooper did great. Good job, fella. I tried. I, yeah, Arvel and, and Ayla did most of it, but um, and she kind of goes quiet when she she's about to say and Galen, and then she goes quiet. This bump. So what the young it, elves are doing nowadays? It's like this. Oh yes. Uh, uh, <laughs> Thanks, Lucius. Um, also, yeah. you get less bacteria on your hands. Are you okay, Sentry? I'm okay. I yeah. know. That, I mean, we know that this probably is hardest for you, right? I mean, you fought them all before. Uh, it's difficult to understand. It's difficult to figure out why they're still here. Um, but then they must be here the same way that I'm still here, right? They've just been dormant, I suppose. Well, unless maybe these are all just, maybe the people that survived the Sundering, maybe they've passed their teaching, you know, like we did. Yeah. Maybe our, they had priests and teachers that There's told always people them. That, that like to believe horrible things and go against the grain and, you know, worship a cult, that kind of thing. Yes, yeah, Starbane, we hate our lives and we hate society. Let's, let's bring back the bad guy that ruined everything in the first place. Yeah. Sentry, did you get a bad feeling about that place? You saw that ship and you immediately had a reaction to that. Uh, it's Ooh. just, it's, it's, it's just very, it's very strange that it's still operational. Well, I guess it was operational. I, s I assume it's not now. Um, yeah, why? What happened? It's not entirely unfeasible. If these ships landed or crashed, or say it landed because the, the, the original commanders were just trying to make a strategic retreat, so they safely landed somewhere to hide it. It's not unfeasible that there are more ships that are in, well, not good condition, but enough of a state that people can board them and use the technology. The one I found was crashed, so it was unsalvageable, but what we just found is evidence that the Remnant may have made tactical retreats, so there may be more. Plus, the, the green glowing thing was relatively recent, because yes. the town didn't have anything like that before. Yes, yes, they came a few weeks ago. They, they were the first people, first people in years, centuries. They came, they activated the ship, spoke to me, woke me from my slumber. Do you know if there are more ships? Can you sense? 
No, no. no. I remember Dema, uh, our old commander, long before this Demos arrived, the commander of the ship, the captain. They spoke of retreats, they spoke of withdrawals. It was meant to be a victory, but Siaska's actions prevented them, uh, diverted their forces, disrupted things. We were struck by weapons, dragon fire from one of the dragonborn ships. We had to land, emergency landing, and then water. The earth cracked and broke around us, engulfed us underwater and beneath the mountains. The crew had to dig their way out. I don't know if any of them survived. Mm. Do you know why Deimos was making you do this to the girls? They, he believed a girl like them could reactivate my full power, could give me strength. They wanted to know if she was the right one for something else. I was just an experiment. Their deaths were just a test to see if they were the one they were looking for. But all I can see are their faces now. Those innocent faces as I stripped them of everything they were, just so that I could become me again. And he goes I'm quiet. gonna just like push Vala behind me. Yeah. Um, very aware. <laughs> yeah, you like like Nova's holding the scarf here. and the bow. Yeah. Mark. Yes. You know in the last episode when we were when we left the girls and started going down the tunnel, there was a presence that spoke to us. Um, and mm -hmm. said, you hurt my girls, and mm -hmm. that, that it was waiting to see how this unfolded. Mm -hmm. Is there any sense of that again? You're not further aloft, in, you're not where in the tunnel where you heard that presence again. Okay. Yeah, you gotta get closer to um, the town. And the voice was different, right? It, it, was, was, a, it was a feminine it was, voice, yeah, it was an old, it was old woman's voice. Okay. Yeah. She well, spoke of something called Zarkira, yeah. Yeah. or something like that, you're not sure. Yeah. Um, well, at least they need these um, uh, turners to power the ships, I guess. Or they're in the ships the entire time and they need someone down there to power it. I think that's... We were placed there, tortured, that existence, having our very essence stripped away from us to fuel his war machines. It is unbearable. That's what Tian Gong has always tried to communicate with me. That's what Tian, or this sliver of Tian Gong, was doing in the skiff that I found. It was powering it. He tricked us, manipulated us, lied to us, said that we would help him, said that we would protect our world. But it was a lie. What so, world do you so sentient from? weapon on good guy side? Mm. I just wish to be free. I do not wish to see darkness. Nothing but lonely, endless darkness. I just wish to be free, to be myself again. You Does are... yourself involve hurting other people? I do not want to harm others. Hmm. You are free now. I must. I'm not strong enough to be free. I need to bond with something, someone. What world did you say you came from? Eterna, my home world. And is that where Tian Gong comes from as well? It is where we are all from. There were so many of us. He turned us into weapons, armor, power for his war machines. I hope some of them survived. And then invaded Eroes and not killed just, Not just your world. Starbane, no, 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 you misunderstand. Your world is not the only world. There are so many others out there, worlds that he conquered that he demanded become his vassals to help him in his great war. Yours was just the first one he couldn't conquer. So many worlds destroyed. Sentry, are you all right? Mm. Sentry doesn't look okay. Nova, give Sentry a hug. Somebody give Sentry a hug. Who's good at hugs? I'm not good at hugs. I think you should give her a hug. Either. I'm not good at hugs. <laughs> Valor. Just, Valor. Valor just Valor's comes up good at hugs. Just... Wraps her arms around you. To think this man was capable of so much destruction apart from our own. And the fear, even if it is a madman speaking, of him returning. That's something we at least should be aware of. We need to warn people. This can't happen again. Who's going to believe us if they don't see evidence? Yes, we need evidence. 
This is evidence, and I hold it up Night Frost. It is, but... It could this be. is evidence, and I point at the girl that Sano had. No, she's still carrying it, yeah. That's not evidence. That's, the I mean, that's not evidence enough. of a kidnapping and an unrecognisable bone. A cult it's trying to bring back Starbane, but we don't know if it's true. The, maybe the Church of Siaska? Um, the, the, I mean, the bow, if what he's saying is... I mean, or maybe maybe the scholars in the Sky Cities? I mean, they might have records yes. of, of things that maybe correlate to what this Night Frost is telling us. Don't worry. Nova, would libraries and and things, would that document people, or items like Tiangong, would that, would it tell anything of those? I mean, I don't know. I mean, I didn't know about Tiangong until Night Frost told me what it is and, yeah. and that this is a Most splinter. Most of you don't know this stuff, yeah. This is the this first is time history. I'm hearing yeah. this. And, and, and I've studied, believe me, I've studied. And this is the first I've heard of Eterna, of, of Night Frost, of sentient weapons, of beings turned into weapons. Well, I think we all have to go to the library now, and I don't want to go to Arians. It sounds like a lot of work. We've all been through a lot today, alone. Let's go get some rest. We yes. all need some rest. And then we go to Gold's room, and then... Yep, I need a very stiff drink, and... Well, yeah. That sounds great. Let's do, Let's do that. that. So you guys make your way back. Um, surprising that you don't hear the voice when you go back through the tunnel. The woman's voice. You don't hear mm -hmm. it. You make your way back to the lodge. The village is quiet, sleepy almost. You don't see any signs. Um, I would imagine that either Ayla beforehand, like Arvel and Ayla maybe took the body and I imagine like, that we would have done something and, like, with it. Yeah, put it outside maybe. I would have probably have kept the girls just in case, but like finding out when that... You, when you return, their bodies have just... There's just like a mark of where they were. Oh, good. They cleaned up after themselves. <laughs> um... There's no sign of their bodies, sadly. Um, you get some rest. Um, a couple of things happen before we wrap up today's session, because there is a couple of things I want to do. First things first, when you get back, Santa like literally goes, t tears through the lodge, finds a thick, like a big brown glass bottle of some sort of whiskey or bourbon, and is just pouring glasses out as soon as you get back. Um, and she's taking heavy swigs. Um, you can see she like strips off most of her armor, kind of just leaves her in like a loose shirt and stuff and is just drinking hard. Um, she puts the other girl, Estelle, to bed. She takes her upstairs to one of the spare bedrooms, like give it, puts her to rest and, and tells her to rest there and then comes back down and drinks <laughs> quite a lot. <laughs> um, those of you, who's doing what? Who's taking a long rest? What do you guys want to do? Definitely trance for four hours. So you're gonna you're gonna go just go up and find a room. Do you want to do it privately? Or are you just gonna do it down in the main room? I'll go privately. Okay. Yeah. Van will go and find a room and sleep as well. Arvel will kind of probably sit outside her door, get like a like a nap, pulls his hat down over his face. A long rest as well. Okay. I think, yeah, I think that's pretty. Much Everybody's doing the same thing. I want to sit. Okay. In front of the I'll probably place. sit with. So Santa probably. For four hours. Well, I was gonna say so. Santa would probably look at Ayla and Nova and kind of be like. Man, tough day. What do you guys want to do? And she like looks over. She's like, you, any? You guys want to blow some steam? Drink. Huh? Right, drink. You go to bed, Nova. Yeah, I'm barely stand. I'm like so, I'm just barely conscious. <laughs> just maybe. Are you taking that boat with you? Yeah. All right. Okay. Mm. I just think maybe if it rests with Tiangong, it might find some stability. You can try. Just being along an old friend. You can try. Sure. Honestly, who knows? I do, do, do what you think is best. You know probably more about it than we do. Look, it freaks I'm, me out. The thing is, I'm too tired right now. I do have more questions, and, and then I'll figure out what to do with Night Frost and if we can help him, but... We have got sure. a long journey ahead. You can ask a lot of questions. But right sure. now, um, I need sleep. Sounds I'm, good. I'm beat up. Yep. Okay. So you get some rest. Um, four hours four. in. What? Hang on. Okay. So with Ayla, how long do you how long do you drink with Santa? And she will get more and more flirtatious the more it you drink. Like she That's is getting pretty like on board. Like she's like, man, you you're pretty good fighter. And, like she's basically like really yeah. awkwardly, but she is trying it on mega hard. Um, in every possible way. <laughs> and it's like, more drink? <laughs> like trying to get you drunk as well. She probably will 
drink with her, but she's not gonna. She doesn't go for she's it. She's not gonna go for it. She she acknowledges she's definitely aware of it happening, yeah, but, but she's just like, oh god, life sucks right now. I do not no. no. That's exactly why it's a good idea because you know, in times of tragedy, you burn it off. Look, I'm part rabbit, and that has certain <laughs> connotations. <laughs> Woo! Don't know if you pick. I picked up all right, on that. Okay, yeah, all right. No, you know what? I'm good. Fine. I can find pretty elf girls anywhere. Fuck you. <laughs> and she staggeredly sure. falls. Yep. She collapses onto the sofa yep. and sleeps. Yep. See, I knew that was going to happen as soon as she hit the sofa. Yeah. So. She like, just falls asleep. Um, so that's that. Lucius, four hours in. How is she trying to flirt with a girl who's literally got a stab wound in her side? Do you get the impression she that has she many as well? Care. She has one hit yeah. point. Yeah, yeah, true, true. Yeah. Yeah. She did not care. Four hours in, Lucia's gonna wake up and just check on Nova and the Night Frost. Okay. So just make sure. Well, that's okay. I imagine Nova's asleep. Yeah. Um, yeah. That's no, I'm being okay. Extreme. So you you, you know, creep in the room. Nova's asleep. Um, I've probably put Tian Gong and them together. Yeah, but they're kind of displayed. Yeah. Um, and you hear ah oh, yes, elf from the sky. What do you oh, wish? What do you, what's happening? What are you doing weird stuff? Meganasi has chosen to sleep. Yes, you talking to Tian Gong, you... No, I cannot. He is, this is, this is not him. This is uh, uh, difficult to answer. He is him, but not him. He is a branch of a great tree. You going would to not hurt... speak to a branch. You're going to hurt us. You're going to hurt Nova, hmm? No, I've hurt too many already. I just wanted to be free. I could not stay there any longer. Has the freedom cost many, many lives of a rose? No, no, I... Are you gonna hurt Valor? Don't hurt Valor. It's no, Sky Elf, no. I, I am, I was a protector. I, I was an agent of my people to protect. I failed. I am not dangerous. And you, it's getting agitated, but it, it doesn't, it, it believes what it's saying, you get the impression. Can I hear this from anywhere in the house? So Can it's I just isolated. Nope. No. So at this <laughs> okay. point, he's now speaking directly to Lucius. Right. It looks like it so can control the brain. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yes, in, in your brain, yes. It's all brain. in your thoughts. Um, yeah, don't disturb me. Jeez. But he, he's just like, please, I, you have rescued me. But until I am bonded, I will not be free. I'm stuck in this form. And once you bond with someone, Yes. Do you take them over, like... No, no. Those girls? No, no. That was... Uh, the Starbane, his ships, the way they work, is alien. It is forced. Like, I cannot help it. Deimos forced the bond on me. Now I have the freedom to choose. I can choose someone. Someone that I feel I can help, that can help me. I can offer gifts, abilities. Not like Tiangong can. He is great and powerful. He can share his magic, his power with somebody. Mine, I can simply change my form. Uh, I have power myself. Hmm. Hmm. Are you? If you truly distrust me, Sky Elf, then bond with me yourself. Ooh. Huh. <laughs> hmm. If you distrust me, then perhaps that will be a way to prove my power. You will have some, some degree of control over what I can do. That's a tempting bargain. I read a book about demons and crossroads. I am not some fiend. Those were Starbane's forces. I am an Eterna. I am different. Hmm. I've never been in a relationship before. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That was a joke. Yes, yes. I have not heard jokes. Yes, so just long. joking. I've been in many relationships before. Yep. And it is amusing that you think that that is what it would be. A relationship. I like that. It is nice. Okay. Well, uh, who makes the first move? I guess you can't move, so... <laughs> uh, Nova's probably watching. It's a bit weird. Just, you simply must sit with me for a while. Oh. Very forward. I'm gonna sneak in very slowly. Sit on the ground? Just sit next to it. Sure. <laughs> so you can spend an hour to attune to Night Frost. Are you uh, feeling anything? <laughs> <laughs> the first question, do you use this form? 
the bow? Or would you prefer my cloak for? Absolutely. I mean... <laughs> Sorry, dearie, but I think the cloak will suit me far better. Very well. And it appears around your neck, this kind of scarf of <laughs> black shadow and then a long trailing line <laughs> that drips with ice cold. Uh, you can now, on your items, if you add uh, Night Frost cloak form, Kim, if you can I'll remove bow. Um, Sorry, Nova. No, it's fine. <laughs> I was thinking of <laughs> trying on you anyway. <laughs> uh, yeah. <coughs> However, once the cloak settles, it's like, do you find this more comfortable? I don't know anymore. <laughs> this is all too fast. <laughs> Allow me to take, now that I am bonded, finally, I can resume. I can take my other form. And the cloak dissipates, and from the shadows, from your shadow, this being, this kind of hunched <gasps> being with these glowing white eyes, just kind of... <sighs> and in a voice, this time in a whisper, Welcome, Master Lucius. <laughs> <laughs> and that's where it all ends, I guess. That what? seems like a pretty fitting uh, point to end. Oh, I was waiting for that! Because you read that you yeah. take a humanoid form, yeah. didn't you? Yeah. So you now What the fuck? I should have read that myself. Because <laughs> <laughs> it made it even better. Yeah. Uh, Holy yeah. crap. Nice. So there you go. Thanks for joining us for today's episode of Arois. Yeah. Uh, this will be the last one until um, after Christmas now, unfortunately. Yeah. So there's a long but, old wait until we continue. But, but next week. 2nd of December. Next I turn week. into Matthew Mercer. Woo! Yeah, it's got Jingle Jam. It's Christmas special. New. Christmas special, so we're there. Great episode today, everybody. I know that was a lot of combat, but obviously That's we fun. had like a bunch of stuff going on and we got some cool RP stuff near the end. Yes. Um, we're going to read some donations. Oliver well, Renve donated, no message, thank you very much. Nightjar, Nightjar, you absolute sweetie pie, thank you very much. My god, those dice, why must you tempt me so? <laughs> Can't wait for the Xmas special and some fun Jingle Jam game streams. Should be something to look forward to during what will others be a tricky month. Have a wonderful time in Malaysia, Kim. Love you. Well, you. We'll try and make it as best as we can. <laughs> Nightingale um, donated. Why? To cheer you up after that girl you orphaned. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh, she still has a she mom. Has a mom. She, has she has a mom. She's nice. not orphaned. Oh, Various donated. Go on. Thank you. Uh, Opson01, thank you very much for the quarter hundo. Another exciting episode. Can't wait to see the continuation of Valor, Sana, and the, the Nin Companion. The, the Nin Poops. No. Um, yeah, companions. The Nin Companions. Nin Companions. Maybe that's your name. The Nin Companions. Maybe the Nin Companions. The Nin Poops. The Nin Poops you can be if you want. I no. quite like Iron Sloths. It makes no sense, yeah. but it sounds like oh, a good mercenary sloths. name. Uh, like a mercenary company yeah, called yeah, the Iron, the Iron, Iron Sloths. Sloths. I kind of like that. Uh, Katie, you want to take some? Oh, oh, oh. It's a half hundo. Absurdity Matrix with a half hundo. Thank you very much for your donation. Um, Dr. Slats has donated, saying a little dono for the HR crew as we end an amazing year. Thank you very much. Meta Manu, uh, welcome back, Katie. Hi. We missed you as always. Kim, enjoy your trip back to Malaysia. Thank I can't you. wait to see Mr. Mercer in High Rollers that disappeared. That's cool. All around, donated. Uh, Thank you very much. This is repeating. Oh. Yeah, it's all repeating. Uh, so scroll down a little. Oh. Mm. See if he's going to fix Big it. He's going to do something. He's fixing it. He's gone. Hopefully, he's fixing it. Ah. Well, let's look at these it's, dice. It's not the last of the year. <laughs> yeah, it's not it's the last of the year. Because we've still got the, the Christmas special. It's, it's the canon, glass the last cannon. canon one of the year. Glass cannon. Oh no, well, we don't know if that's if we're gonna be back oh. straight after December, after oh, Christmas. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, right. yeah, that's still being worked out. So there's a potential we might be back to normal Aroas on the 30th of December, so, but that's still oh, really? being debated. So I'm not gonna be here. I know. And neither will I'm be. Neither <laughs> will I. Yeah. So, so maybe not. Probably not. Probably not. Right, there we go. Uh Tom, do you wanna go? Anglo V. Uh, thank you for the donation. You guys are amazing! Recently, Rois and Rogue's Gambit reignited my drive for D&D. So I decided to get done, uh, Dragon Heist and I hope to DM a campaign soon. Nice. Good luck! Uh, also, I couldn't decide which of the new dice to get, so I got wow. both! Wow! Yeah. Awesome. HR collection must be complete! Thank wow. you very much! Damn, thank, thank you very much! Wow. Uh, Nautilix1, uh, hello little Sky Elf. Now you've got to say it in a demon voice. Uh, Mark can do that. Mm, hello little Sky Elf. So, oh, there he is! I miss Crown Don't crown red me. Um, well, you're the one that bonded with the sentient magic item this time, so... Oh no. Do you want it, Sentry? <laughs> I've got the uh, flame lines, I'm good! Uh, yeah. Azul Aura, um, we had no daddies this ah, week, so ooh. of the 38 people who bet, Icarus94 and Species5618 Beta got it right. This stream is the best to watch after a week of being sick, and since I didn't say it last week, Kim, your new hair is awesome. Thank Aww. you. And finally, well, oh, I was yep, going to say finally for me, but finally in total, Ace of Thorns! Happy 
Christmas, Kim Pie. Thank you. Not Thank so you very much. <laughs> anyway. um, amazing. Thank you so much. What an episode. Some exciting yeah. things to look forward to when we come back to a race. Yeah. Some exciting and things to look forward to. Week. Don't forget to check out the new merch and the new bundles. Please they do end Cyber Monday. We'll hand it over to Kaf and the ASMR stream next. See you next week. Yeah. Bye. Goodbye. Bye, guys. See you. See you in 2019. Bye. For me. Bye. Bye. Bye, bye, bye. bye.